Hi. Hi, everyone. How are you? Hi, guys. How's it going? We're gonna bring... We're gonna bring the energy tonight. We're gonna bring emotion. We're gonna bring honesty. We're gonna bring teamwork. Um, certainty. But, no, I'm just kidding. Hello, everybody, how are you? Hope all is well. Had a really fun time today. What did y'all get into? The weather up here in New England is primo! Uh-huh. It's, I'm in shorts. We should go run a lap. Yeah, I'm in, I got my shorts on. <laughs> I got my jorts. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're fucking, we're at 90 today. We hit 90, 90. Really? Yeah, 86. My mom says 90. She doesn't know that her car's lying over. Mm. But, uh, yeah, stacking firewood. Getting a little sun-kissed, making myself a Holtzhausen. I don't know if any of you ever heard of those. Those are the round firewood stacks. I started making mine. I got about 10 cords of wood from cutting down eight trees. So, um, cut and split. So, I got to stack all that shit. Little tip for those of you who don't know. I'll jump right into the, uh, the roll here. If you're stacking firewood, make sure you stack it. Try to stack it as few times as possible. Do not move it over and over again. Why? Because I'm an idiot. A firewood stack will make a fucking idiot out of you. you like, you'll move it three times. Oh, uh, like the whole stack, where you're stacking. Yeah, yeah, okay. like you obviously have your stack outside the fireplace or wherever you stack. Yeah. Then you have your dump spot. Sometimes that's both if your house, if your pot. I burn five cords of firewood a year. So wait, how much do you have out there? How many years there's, supply? There's 10, two years supply, which nice. is, it looks like a ton, it's not. I'll go through that in a year yeah, and a half, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I keep, I try to keep five or six cords on Never makes it through the year. Five doesn't get it done. So uh, we burn a ton of wood during the winter up here and uh, stacking firewood today. Got a little sun kiss. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I love the no, no sunscreen, first sunburn of the season, just roasting your skin. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, love it. That's, so we're getting into it. Uh, making a fire pit this weekend. Shooting a video this weekend. World Peace 2, really great stuff, a lot going on, working our little flat little asses off, I hope you guys are doing well, thank you for all the uh, messages, the kind words, the, uh, oh shit, I forgot to do this guy, um, we, got every we got somebody we need to, yeah, 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 okay. um, let's see here, but it's okay, I got it, um, but yeah, no, what are you looking for, pen, pen? Good question. Oh, oh, right there, this one. There we go. Um, this one. I don't know. I'll do it when I open it up. But yeah, I hope all you guys are looking at houses, finding some cool stuff. I'm looking in Maine. Stuff that I'm looking at is going pending, which is good. I'm actually happy to see that. I'm going to go up there. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to be driving up early in the morning and really starting to kick tires seriously. Starting to really kick some tires. And what that means is I'm really going to snap into character and pretend like I give a fuck what they're saying. I'm moving up here. It's going to be with you. We just got to get to the source. So I'm going to go up there and start deal hunting. Um, I don't think I'm going to get too, too serious with it. Um, we're going to build some stuff. I don't know. I'm looking. Are you looking? Are you finding things? Things are going pending in my neighborhood that are insane. Um, but yeah, I know the old argument. Where are you going to go? Don't. I'm not going anywhere. But so, um, yeah, it's just a crazy market. It's really funny. Really, really funny to see. Um, really to see funny people, people grabbing and... Um, and getting it sometimes. Um, so but, Sam needs me to send him my card information. Ah, for real. Oh, okay, you got to do that. <laughs> yeah, I got to do it real quick. You got to do we, that. Oh, before, before we before we get into it here. Yeah, yeah. Well, no problem. I'll just go fuck myself. Uh, Nick. No, Nick, no, I no, no. Like wait, I, can, I can open this here. Do you want to open them? No. Uh, go to browsing right there. We there. Go. Guys, Scott for Realty shirts open. Open for pre-order. Just launched it. Get in there. Get in this mosh pit. This is the expert dealer. You can't see it, right? This one. This is a one and done. This is going to be a one and done. All right? Get in there. Order them. We'll get them out to you. Um, always want you to be looking like a construction worker from the future. That's what I want. I want all the, that stuff to be looking like you're in some sort of a, some sort of cyberpunk construction company sponsored by a cigarette company, sponsored by a paver company. That's the idea. That's what we want. You hit that on the head with all, with all the merch, though. Yeah, like like, all, all your shirts. That is what it is. Yeah, yeah I want to look uniform, uniformity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looking like a, like a security company. But I like that kind of stuff. Um, 
I'd wear it. I want I want a shirt that you could wear on a date or that's uh, just, hey, you see someone like that, you know someone's looking in the right direction. You can trust that guy or girl. There's probably eight girls that are going to buy this shirt. So eight. Last time we had one girl. This time we're going to get eight. All I have. So I appreciate it. Get in there. Obviously, I appreciate it. My daughter says, Daddy, are they going to? She has a little stutter. She's like, D -d 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 Daddy, are they going to buy the T-shirts? I'm like, I don't know, baby girl. We're going to find out tonight. I got to jump on. And then we go to pop off. That's what we do it out there. So thank you for all uh, your patronage. I appreciate it. Still, I'm a small business owner. Always have been. Yeah. Don't care. Hat in hand. Please. Please. Oh, I don't like someone. I'm a fan too loud. All right, way less, way less. No, no fans. Here. Oh, oh, I was yeah, messing well, with your yeah, hair. I was messing with my hair. I so see you. please buy something for me. I'm a fucking loser. I got nothing. Please, God, give me anything, anything you can give me. God bless you. Anything else for me? I would be so, so good at panhandling. <laughs> I would be fucking nasty at it. You should hang out outside my house. I would. Every everybody would fucking just go home because I'd be get. I'd, I'd make eighty an hour. Yeah. Oh God, please! Ah! My mother was beaten. She was beaten by a rapist. My life was screwed up from day one. Like that's what I would. Uh, yeah, and then I would change. You know, obviously every car, someone different inside. So. Find out, you know, you find a PETA sticker. I start telling them about my dog that got ran over, et cetera, yada, yada. No. Uh, a couple chats before we yeah. open these. But to hit it on the hammer, one, hit it on, hit the nail on the head one more time here, guys. People have been asking nonstop in the chat, when is yep. the stream merch? It's here. Okay, guys, it's, it's a pre-order. Go over to shamanicshouse.com. The link to the shirt is in the bio. Uh, just expand it, tap it, click it. Go check it out. Um, oh, just, just a heads up. Sorry, that's it. If you're going to order like a candle or something, order the shirt by itself because I can't double ship, okay? So just a heads up for anybody ordering stuff that uh, I appreciate it, thank you. But uh, make two orders, I know that's annoying. Um, that's a fucking ass hot. My, my team sesh hat. If you don't, how's my driving? Shout out team sesh. Team sesh tour going on now, can't really? believe that. Oh yeah, they, they're going on tour, those boys. I'll be there, I'm gonna be there, you know that. Cameron Eichen, thank you for joining. We got Kazar, you know, just showing up for work here, doing his duty. Thank you for giving out five memberships. Tiger, thank you Yo, for joining thank you, Severe bro. Beast. Venny, with a generous 50 bucks. Hey. Yo, Benny. No, not even a message. He just wants his to name is out Benny. Wow, that's very nice of you, Benny. Thank you. <laughs> wow, man. Uh, Adam Scrup Scrupus, thank you for the five. Danny J. Bauer, you already know what's going on. He's giving out five memberships. Thank you, Danny. Say thank you, Danny, in the chat. David Lyon says, I wish I were LeVar Burton. I've been hearing that a lot lately, David. If you you know, if you keep wishing, it might just happen. We got Garrett Crawbuck with the 25. Uh, Yo, Garrett. Garrett. Yo, Garrett Crawbuck. Garrett. Hell yeah. I'll handle that one, man, but thank you for the, uh, thank you for the 25. We'll put that one down. You want to get us started? Oh, yeah. You know, guys, if you haven't been here before, if this is your very first stream, you super chat us an address. Nick tears it apart. He tells you if it's good or bad, what to look out for. Maybe you're trying to buy it. Maybe you just want to make fun of your uh, your rich boss with bad taste and That's bad cars. Those are my favorite. The one, my favorite one is the person actually looking for a house. Then, um, let me keep that up. All right, cool. So. All right, cool. Um, so again, much appreciated over here. Uh, what the fuck is? All right, cool. Oops. Okay. Yeah, how? How shit, dipshit? Cool. Thank you. Nothing. Fucking shit. Oh, there we go. There's the back. How do you mouse over it? Cool. It's good. me off all right <laughs> well that's the back that's the front the backs it's the, the artwork's done by my, my uh, miles mcgrady how do you how do you slide over how do how do i show the back of the shirt here um i think it's i think it's uh good bugged. thank you 
But you can see a thumbnail on of it yeah, from you can, here. Yeah, you can mouse over it. Cool. Anyway, the back of the work. It's on my Instagram. You can see it. Y'all can see it. It's there. Click right arrow. There we go. Yeah, right. Yeah, cool. I'll throw this fucking laptop through a fucking wall right now. Good. I Put me right in a good fucking mood right away! Yeah! Fucking throttle me right through the fucking roof. Unfucking real. <laughs> Doesn't have one. Where? Fucking unreal. Fucking cocksucking motherfucker. All right. Good. Hey, everybody. We're back. Back from fucking psychotic rage. <laughs> um, yeah. No, there is no. Because I have a fucking laptop. A shit fucking laptop. All right. There, sorry, the arrow was hidden. My fault. I like rage. See how good that is? Did you see that? It's content. Yeah, yeah. I just want you to know it's all real, everybody. It's not fake. I hate my life. I'll kill everyone, including myself. <laughs> I'll pull a gun out in a fucking restaurant and blow every... I, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I said I'll pull a gun to my own chest and shoot myself like Dave Mara. <laughs> promise. All right. Is that a promise? Oh, it's a fucking promise. <laughs> I'm going to be Dave Mara by the end of fucking... By the time I'm 40. I'm gonna shoot myself with a fucking crossbow. Think I won't? I'll blow my head off with a fucking crossbow. I want those deer arrows. <laughs> That's the only way I want to fucking die. It's the only way I want to die. Um, at any rate, uh, I'll jump in. I, I got to do this one first. This, uh, this, this guy here. All right, photos here. All right. Someone we missed? Nah, you know, not for nothing. He's a, he's, an, he's a Chinese fella. And he's sending me numbers. I mean. Is this the Nick agitation stream? Oh, my God. <laughs> Like shit like this. All right, North Vancouver. All right, I found it right away. So uh, this is probably it. And if it's not, the North Miso, <laughs> the North Vancouver Chinese. Yes, we'll yes, see. yes, yes. This is probably a bot sending me a thing. It's like yeah. scuffed realtor. It's cool. Seven fifty because of neon lights. All right. I mean, oh, it's a houseboat. Holy shit! Top of my head is steaming right now. It's a hot one. It'll cool down. Woo! All right, cool. Who cares? All right, cool. My fucking hair is going to be on fire. Comes with... Does it come with the center console? What's the center console? A twin board? A twin board Vesper cat hull? What the fucking hell is that? Like a uh, nice boat. It probably doesn't come with that. That boat's 200 grand. Um, it comes with a tender. I doubt it. Um, I love houseboats. It's nice. Again, houseboats are like tiny houses. I can't pay you that much. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not paying that much for this. I mean, it's in British Columbia. That has nothing to do with the fact that it's a houseboat. Houseboats are portable. Um, the finishes are, I mean, there's cool stuff in it. Don't get mystified. The handrail's nice. It's nice and this and that. Um, I don't know. I'm sure the lending is a lot better on a pre-existing pre unit. 750 seems rich it's been on the site for 140 days it's uh yeah it's a pass i mean it's a marine grade building it's not that nice guy this is like ikea cabinets in a tiny just remember this is a tiny house that's all it's on floats but it doesn't change what the reality of what you're buying here you're buying literally a pile of wooden windows okay so um the finishes are nice and it's all done it has a garage for a tender which is nice i don't know hmm. what kind of boat that is but it's nice i can tell it's high end does it come with that boat i don't i still don't even care if it does come with that boat, that means you're getting fucked. Seriously. More, does it come with that? I bet you it doesn't, though. Interesting. Uh, I love houseboats, though. I mean, I, I would rent one. Honestly, if they're going to be like that, can you rent it for, for two grand a month? Because you're going to buy it for fucking 40, 50, 100 a month. So um, just keep that in mind. Rupert Shitgrin, thank you for the 10, man. Uh, got a chat here. Good afternoon, boys. Thank you, Ron C. for the 25. He says, I want to ask Nick what he thinks of cabinet resurfacing as a first business. Paint, stain, hardware, low overhead. Thanks, guys. Yes, it is a good good business. The kid I know who does it, shout out. Was it Providence, Providence Paint Company? Nice kid. Did a job for me. He paints cabinets about 80. He's a painter. He's a commercial painter. A younger guy, hungry, does a good job. Um... Uh, I, I want to say half or three quarters of his business is cabinet refinishing, and he's fucking crushing it. This kid, really? yeah, this kid makes a goddamn fortune. 
Yeah. So it's a great business. People can't afford new cabinets. New cabinets, everybody knows. They're, they're wood. They're hard wood. You just need to, re, you can redo, redo, do, do doors. Offer door options where you can keep the boxes. That's going to be the big deal. A lot of people just want to change the color. They don't even know it's an option yet. That's the truth. You know, we know about it because we're young and hip and hot, but they don't. Vodalus of the Woods says, huge fan for years. Well, thank you for that, man. I'll cut straight to the chase. I'm looking at an 01 GMC Sonoma SL for eight grand. It has 85K miles on it. I think I heard you mention in previous streams that those early 2000s GMC and Fords were in. Yeah, a, a GMC Sonoma for eight grand. Oof. Must be real nice. It's got low, low clock on it. I'd pay because the, the shitty one's going to be five grand. The really nice one's going to be eight grand. You're going to spend three grand on the one that's five grand. Or don't spend three grand and have the downtime. So I'll take the nice one, bush the guy down to 7,200. Say, come on, man. This truck was only 23,000 new. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I like the buy. I like the, I like this, the, that was, was a good, good era of trucks there. Good and time. last one here from James What's Boyd that? with the 100. Holy shit, damn. Damn. James. James uh, Bond. James Boyd. Damn. Boyd Coddington. He says, you guys are some funny fellas. Enjoy the money. Nick, where are your playlists at? I need some good music. If you guys want to play this, head over to Shamonic's House Instagram. The one right above here. This one right here. Go right over there. Click there. There's playlists on the Instagram. You'll find them. Everybody asks me that. I, we make a playlist every month. I've been doing it for two, th almost three years now. Every month I make you a playlist like a stalker boyfriend, like I'm Dylan Kleibold. So... <laughs> I'm just up there fucking doing this in the yearbook. Fucking just making you a fucking sweet playlist for you. Like, I like you. I don't even I don't even know you, but I like you anyway. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad there's people here that much concern about uh, real estate. Um, yeah. Lastly, um, mm -mm. you got something to say? Mm -mm. Lastly, uh, Christy Eitzer, thank you for the 25. Uh, if you were trying to send a address, uh, send it again because you got, you got a blank message. But hey, either way, thank you for the 25, Christy. Mm. Caught up. All righty, 145 Carbondale Road, West Waverly, Pennsylvania. It's a million two, eight bedroom, five bath, 15,000 square feet, built in 1927 on five acres. <clears throat> I might be crawling around the pound with a, with a handful of condoms tonight. I might be whipping magnums at pit bulls tonight. You want to fuck me, dog? Yeah, I'm whipping magnums right now. Is that <laughs> velvet wallpaper? Damn. Velvet walls. I haven't seen that done. They liked crushed velvet oh. in this house, though. Crushed velvet, Victorian chairs. Those are worthless. <clears throat> those are ugly as shit. Um, oh. The period in which this was redone. This was redone in 78, I can tell. Because the color palette, it's like redone in like 82, 78, 84 sometime. Because the materials used, some are, some are good, a lot of them are bad. Um, but it's like pier, card in shit all over the place. Um, yeah. The last person who had this house was a moron. A classless moron. Those are original, I think. I hope. Problem is they blurred the line of what was original and what's not. That's that they blurred it like so well. It's annoying. Uh, the double tub, interesting. Look at that. A partner's tub. Two tubs on the side of each other. I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like that. <clears throat> That's cool. This house is cool. It's not a million two, but it's cool. It's first time. To, oh, an elevator. Wow. An elevator with a phone. Natural stone wall, blue stone top, brick patio, blue stone patio, natural stone, very done, very well done. I've actually done this exact patio, literally almost to a T in Watch Hill, where a blue stone square this way and a brick one this way, almost to a T, literally, with a low seat wall, just like that. That's weird. Uh, nice so bronze cool. statue of the cherubs washing the tires or whatever. Yo, Eric, thank you for joining. Eric, um, look Eric. up here, guys. We need 50 new severe beasts. Eric, thank you for... Uh, Adding to the pile there, man. Mm. That's all. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, this fucking everything's making my head itch tonight. Too much sunburn today. Um, wow. Concrete pool. Now, perfect example here. For all you people who are like, oh, no, I have to do a pool deck. All of you in the, all of you in the chat that are like, yo, I need 
Unilock pool pavers. There you go. Oh, thank you, buddy. All right. This is brushed finished concrete. The old school broom finished concrete. All right. This, this is like a, it's at least a 50 year old pool. It still looks great. The performance of concrete is timeless. Love the established landscaping. Oh man, I love this. Stonehenge. God damn. I, I like it. For a million two, damn. Wow, full length steps. That's, that's brassy. I love that. I tried to install that one time. I pitched that one time to a guy who owned a Harley Davidson dealership and he told me to go fuck myself. He ended up copying all my ideas. And, but I pitched a long, there was a separation in his yard and I pitched a wall with a, like a 60 foot full length stair tread and uh, he didn't go for it. But that's what that is right there. That's just beautiful photogenic steps for function, family functions, family photos, years to come. Very well done. Too bad that there is like a literal, this is like a supermodel with a booger hanging out of her nose trying to make out with you. Like, yes, it's a supermodel, but there's a big fucking green snot like right on her lips. She doesn't see it, but I don't know how she doesn't see it. And she wants to make out hard because she thinks something weird that you did was the best thing she's ever seen. That's what this house is. Like a hot girl. Yeah. Like Jet. Yes. Like what's what's your best song? Your like most listened to song? Soldier. Wait. Song I've made or song? Yeah, song you've made. Soldier of Fortune. I Soldier of Fortune made my underwear. Uh, turned my underwear into a swimming pool. Oh, so you're autistic? And then and you girl? look over and she's got a fucking snot. Like she's like yeah. this hanging out. She's like ah. Uh, oh. Uh, I Soldier of Fortune was so good. I'm. You're, you're gonna have to ring me out. And then, uh, I mean, obviously you would just eat the <laughs> snot, but... Yeah, uh, I'll just suck it right out of her Yeah, nose. right, right. Oh, God, yeah. No, I got... Uh, totally. Um, it's too bad. It's too, this house is really nice. It needs a lot. Um, it's first time to market, so I'm not even going to get any data on it. It's 80 bucks a square foot. It needs... It does kind of need a lot, though. Um, not at a million, too. I've seen 15,000 square feet. It's not going to go any lower. Um, 875 is the number for me. Oh, wow. It sold for a million last year? Son of a... Oh, wow. It sold for a million? Now you want a million two for nothing? No. That's a paper. That's a greedy brother or something. Because they didn't do anything. It sold for three fifty in 07. <whistles> That's probably a family sale. Any whom. It sold for a million. Yeah, 875 is the number for me. Uh, nice house, though. Very nice house. Uh, uh, some chats, Nick. That house is no joke. That you, for all of you who are thinking about buying a house like that, the I'm sorry, yes, I will. The yeah. maintenance on a house like that is seriously no joke. Like, I have two manicured, like, grass-cutting acres and growing constantly. I am a fucking park, Parks and Rec superintendent, I swear. <laughs> like, 20 bags of fertilizer go down. You know what I'm saying? Cutting 30 times a year. Double cutting. Edging. 40 yards of mulch is my mulch bill. 40 yards I get. Just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm doing Mar-a-Lago by myself. I'm groundskeeper Willie. That's what I am. I do grunts from The Simpsons. Very popular show. Great show. We're closed. Oh, we're closed. We're closed. That's we're filled it. up fast. I filled got a bunch fast. to write, too. We're moving on. We got, we're, we're, we're working so much. We're the set. We're building sets. I'm building a bar right now. A bar-restaurant combination for Sam Hyde. You ever heard of this guy? He's out there, man. He's doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and I'm doing a bar for him, okay? And I'm doing a, a restaurant scene, and I'm doing the restaurant. I'm building that myself. I'm going to take my saws and whatnot, my planers, no, Joe, planer joiners. Joe David with the 25 says, why won't my super chat send? Uh, well, if you were trying to submit an address, which unfortunately just closed off, guys, no more addresses. Please. We are filled to the brim. Be writing them down all night if we kept them open. Uh... Maybe if you were trying to submit an address, you didn't code it well enough. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Look at the other Super Chats. Look how people are replacing O's with zeros, A's with fours. Uh, sometimes with certain users, YouTube will not let you send an address because uh, it's, it suspects you're up to no good. I hope that answers it, but thank you for the 25, man. I, I, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Boots with the Fleer with the 25. Scuff Realtor shirt order. All, all you poor that got to wait till payday, weep in sorrow. Amen. Don't Flex. worry. Don't do that. Flex on. I wish dude. I could, but yeah, 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 yeah. All them pores. I just snowplow the pores. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, you. There it is. You guys. Um, please run over. Yeah. All that. It's bullshit. good. I'm done. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I can't wait. Link McStick with the 25 gun to your head, Nick. Best countertop material for a tiny house kitchen. Gar uh, hardwood, granite, marble, or quartz. For a tiny house kitchen. 
tiny house? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, depends on the rest of the stuff, buddy. It's kind of a loaded question. Um, remnant, remnant photogenic. Photogenic is what I'd say. Are you renting it out or are you keeping it for yourself? Because performance-wise, I don't know, man. You're going to break it. It's going to be cheap. I used uh, Live Edge Pine Slabs. And yeah. I, I waterfalled Live Edge Pine Slabs. I 45 the corners and then I gel coated the top. It was all right. Um, I don't know. Losi Media. Thank you for the 25, man. Uh, we have a generous, generous 50 from Worst Person Singular with the 50. Uh, I work in insurance. PSA for all the homies that are looking to buy in Florida. It is hitting the fan in the insurance market. Before you make an offer, get an insurance quote. Check if it's a flood zone, possibly an additional 10000 a year. It is no joke. That's true. Free alpha, guys. Yeah, free. Uh, that's a little bit of information, everybody going down. Uh, insurance, flood zones, stuff like that. Look at look at the Florida airport. You see that? The Fort Lauderdale airport. Foot what happened? Of, foot yeah, of flooded? Six, six, eight inches of water on the fucking runway. No way. Yeah, planes driving through fucking... Drift, <laughs> drift. Drift. Yeah, they're drifting. <laughs> 747 drift liners. E. Decruff with the generous 25. Thank you for the support, man. Daughters are getting fed. Townhouse slash condo versus house. Which is a better investment in general? Should I consider a house? Plan is to monkey branch uh, when the economy slides down, whenever that may be, to a fancier place. Uh, it depends on how much work you want to do. If you don't want to cut grass, you don't want to plow snow, you don't want to deal with things, move into a townhouse. If you're truly a lazy person, self-identify and be honest with yourself because the second you realize you suck at shit and you're not going to be good and you truly don't want to learn it, you're going to be fucked. Uh, we got brief introduction, giving out 10 memberships. Guys, thank Yo. you 10 times. Thank you, thank you, thank Yo. you, thank you. Yo, appreciate that. We got Mudica giving out 10, man. Thank you, Mudica. Y'all are being very generous tonight. Comfy time, joining Severe Beast. Look, this bar is getting filled up, guys. Look right here. Bing bong, bing bong. Damn, Hell thank yeah. you, guys. Uh, yeah. Duck Parlor, thank you for joining. Um, seeing if we got any more. We got a 10 from P. Anya. Thank you, man. P. Anya. Um, P. Anya. Got me again, man. Gotcha. Marshall D., thank you for joining. Um... And Andrew Stitch, thank you for sending 25, man. Thank you for the support. Matt Farmer with the 25. I own a painting and countertop resurfacing, resurfacing uh, and cabinet resurfacing, resurfacing business. God, Angie's List sucks. How can I get better leads? Don't there? ever go on Angie's List. If you own a business, don't put your fucking thing on Angie's List. Angie's List is for nightmare consumers. Yeah. That's, no one cool is on Angie's List. People who use Angie's List and trust it are brain dead. If you own a bit, please stay the fuck away from that thing. <laughs> I would literally rather you see you in the ghetto holding a sign that says, I do sweep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do sweep for money. Kiss, kiss. That's better to me marketing. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, cabinet resurfacing. Um, you're hitting, hit the higher middle class people that are good with their money. That's, 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 ex that's your consumer. The, the frugal guy. Um, Acura buyers. Uh golfers that type people who can't swing the full kitchen um country clubs is going to be your best bet word of mouth word of mouth and, and, and insurance and country club guys are going to be the best um you got to let them like know that like i'm saving you thirty thousand by not putting new cabinets in you have to like come up with your pitch really well because you are you know people who people for years i mean it was fine we used to refinish cabinets all the time and then like somewhere around like 2005 everybody was just like ripping shit out and throwing ikea yeah. cabinets in then everybody realized ikea cabinets suck yeah or like they're not they don't suck but they, they you can see it from a mile away yeah then they went back to like then they started to go up and up and up and up and up now everybody's throwing in like 36,000. they're getting upsold at like italian cabinets yeah. in your house it's it's like it's like putting like $20,000 30-inch wheels on like a mid-level trim Tahoe from like 2008. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Spot on. Like an LT08 Tahoe new body style pre like post 07 with like $30,000 uh what are the the best wheel the uh those like $20,000 wheels they make. I don't know. Help me chat. You know what they are? Like not uh I uh, they come in like all kinds of anodized colors and they're mad money. Not HRE yeah. Swiss three-piece wheels, but you know what I mean? Shit like that. Uh, Duck Parkour, thank you for joining. And last one here before we get back into it. Relic with the 25. I was working at a customer's house and I accidentally broke the French lady's crystal vase. I felt really bad. At the same time, I loved the way it shattered and the sound it made when it slammed on that kitchen floor. Oh, yeah. He's learning from the stream. <laughs> it's a better way to do it, dude. I'd rather see it smashed in a million pieces than... Forgiato, that's it. Thank you. Forgiato wheels. You got it. Sorry, man. I don't buy that shit, so yes. 
Like four Giotto wheels on an 08. Like the truck's worth fucking 8,500. The wheels are 22,000. That's what a $35,000 set of kitchen cabinets looks like in a house that's 350 to 500,000. It's just like out of place. And it's not their fault. The consumer goes to a place and they just want to do the best thing, but they like over, they overdo it in custom cabinetry. They, they just, this is a way right now where you kind of just fall into it and you're like, well, it's the move. You leave and it's really, it's not the move. Um, redoing the cabinet, cabin doors is going to save you a bunch of money. You can do it for, I don't know, two to seven grand probably. Actually, one more from Raul F with the 25. Hey, Nikki Poo, I'm Nick too. Just scored a new job as a flight instructor, sharing the love. Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. Cool. I just saw a plane I want to go, I want to get. <laughs> cool. I just sent this. I follow this plane thing. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I could see you taking flights class. I want to take a flight class. I want to, this, hold on, this plane, I want to talk. It's, check, let's check this plane out. It's so cool. Hold up. It's called. Uh, it's just like a military fighter jet. Yeah, it's. it's I want it. No, no, it's like a, it's a yeah. prop plane. Yeah, it's a. Uh, the DA fifty RG. Yeah, the new DA fifty RG. This thing. This thing is. Badass. Three hundred horsepower single engine retractable landing gear. I can't trust me. I can't. I just like to look at stupid shit and have like a. It's just so funny. There'll be one day I'll be able to pull that joke. But uh, show awesome. Anywho. Take me for a ride. Let's do a loop-de-loop -loop in a cheap Cessna on a test drive. Uh, uh, or a, all right, 135 in a floodplain, 2400 bucks a year. Floodplain policy was renewed effective. It was $250,000 cover, 24-7 for one. State Farm High School. I don't know, man. In a floodplain... Go back historically, see how bad it is. I, I'm not a big fan. Uh, they always kind of floodplains on main roads, proximity to main roads. They're all like cancers that the house always kicks around. You can never really improve it. So I'd say if there's something for even a little bit more money, please don't. Please, it's just not worth it, man. Just, just that. Just so you know, that insurance of uh, let's just call it let's call it 2,500 a year. That's like 200 bucks. You know, 210 dollars extra a year uh, a month. That's like. That's like buying a $175,000 house, just so you know. The difference in your mortgage will probably be something like that. Just just throwing that out there. So keep that in mind. Anything that requires any, all that HOA stuff and all that stuff, you have to figure that in. And start sort of quantify. When you say your budget's $150,000, see what $350 more does to you. I mean, it's, it's, it's usually around about fifty dollars or $60,000 in the mortgage. But on a $135,000, the metric, it's a, big, it's a big part of the number. So keep that in mind. Never mind the, the bullshit of, uh, of dealing with flood insurance, uh, flood uh, remediation. That's a nightmare, man. You lose all your shit. It's not as cool as it. it, it uh, a car driven into a river is a lot cooler uh, that you owe too much. <laughs> a, a car that you owe too much that fell into a river is a way better job than a house that fell into a river. Nice house. 4915 Rucker Avenue, eight and a quarter, 6,900 square foot, sprawling executive ranch. Established landscaping, rhododendrons, Japanese maple right in front of the window. Nice autumn, nice Andromeda or a sweet spire right there. I'm looking for improvements. Okay, I'm not looking for furniture. So when you look at this house, they're 875. They're asking that's a retail number, and you can tell by the decor that this house, these people take themselves seriously. Now, when you look at a house like this, what you're trying to analyze is what the hell did they do? Did they do new windows? Did they do new anything other than? Dress this house up like country farmhouse, and it's not so just commercial stove Commercial stove granite up the backsplash good so, wrong granite nice style um, yeah, They haven't done anything uh, And my my guess is that these people bought this house in 2016 and they redid this banister poorly. This is a really shoddy job right here. This is gaff I could throw my wife right through that. Yeah, you could, you could Irish whip me right through that, right down these flight of stairs. This was an afterthought. They had to go up higher. Code was higher, so they uh -huh. had to, yeah, yeah, so they had to Mickey Mouse. This is all, that's, that's so stupid. These people are stupid. I'm sorry. I don't care. Um, it is what it is. That's why you watch. I'm not going to lie to you. They didn't do anything to it. So what I'm going to look for, now I'm going to destroy you on the price because you did nothing but fill it with furniture and cut the grass. You did, you did keep the landscaper which tells me that you're executives that don't cut grass and don't give a shit, but you paid for the landscaping. My guess is that you paid 640 for it in 2016. I was off 530 for it in 2018. Mm. I was giving you a freebie. No, I'm not paying you $300,000 for your fucking furniture, dude. 
past. Inflation, yada, yada, yada. Too bad it's a great house too, but that's what happens when you're greedy. You're going to get... You're gonna get I, I mean, Everett, did Everett Washington pick up that much? Did it pick up 200? I mean, that's, that's a pretty... I look for houses in this price bracket personally. Um, I know when someone's grabbing 300 grand in five years and doing nothing, and I don't, I don't, I pass on, I, I don't even look at it. I don't look twice. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Even if it's your house or whoever, if you know the person selling it, they didn't do enough work, and they're just listening to a realtor and trying to get a hot market. It's a shame, too, because the beautiful cherry blossom, the, the, the house is really nice, but I hate when people play. Yo, play, play stupid games with stupid prizes. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah. Nah. Oh, People are saying like Everett, it. Washington is, is not a good place. Yeah, so, so you're, just, you're reaching because of the, the world market? Yo, A, thank you for joining Severe Beast, man. You're helping us fill up our goal meter. Uh, these are the Severe Beasts needed, okay? Thank you for adding to that pile. If you don't know... Uh, when you join Severe Beast, you go to the membership tab, you see the full archive of everything we've ever done. People who aren't Severe Beasts cannot see prior streams, uh, other than the ones that we graciously leave up. Thank you for joining, man. Uh, a couple chats, Nick. Relic with the 25. I uh, already hit that one. Thank you again, Relic. Uh, thank everyone for the support tonight. Trevor with the 25. I bought a house from a family that was not listed online, but I'd like to review some photos in the next stream. What is the best way to submit it? Uh, $220,000 ranch in a good neighborhood in East Hartford, Connecticut. Good bones, second owner. I think you're going to have to make a Google <clears throat> a link. Yeah? Yeah, they're going to have to make like a link or something. We're going to have to have like a deposit or something. Yeah. Maybe like a Google... We could do like a Google um, Drive for photos or something. Yeah, I was thinking about how to do that. We'll Google, figure that out. Google Forms would do it, and then we would it, it would feed into our drive, and then we could just flip through them. That's what I'll do. I'll figure uh, it out somewhere. We'll figure that out. We will configure on a way to do that. So for those of you who have bought a house and submit, we'll do like a photo dump, and we'll figure some some ways out to uh, to help you out and fix up some ideas that are probably you might be scratching your head at. Bertox 11 with the 25 anti angelist solidarity. I just look up Jets music. Pretty clean flows. Not gonna lie, love you boys. Thank hey, you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Thank you for finding my emo so band. So does that, yeah, so does it, finding his emo band and finding it's going to be a hot, uh, just a hot uh, former Miss Kansas. She's got good snot, though. She's got a fucking infected green sinus infection snot on her face. <laughs> uh, Cosmic Samurai with the 25. Hey, guys, thank you for the awesome content and the great wisdom, Nick. Uh, your car content, your... Your car and house content is very helpful. Thank you as well, Jeff, for being awesome. Hey, man, just doing my Appreciate job. Appreciate that. That's all you. I know is cars and houses, unfortunately. I don't care about cars, though. They suck. That's most of life, though. That's just most of yeah, just, I'm just trying to help you on the two biggest purchases of your life. For free, screaming at, computer, screaming at a laptop with my pal in my garage, railroading my, my career right down the toilet for here, here for you. Ooga booga. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the support here. Nick, what girls only fans are you subscribed to? And why is it Trisha Paytas? Yeah, none of those. I, none of I was going to make an OnlyFans last year. I was yeah. going to do lawn tips. That would be really yeah, fun. Yeah. I was going to do like lawn tips. And then like every 10th word would be like a porno word. Yeah. Where I just kind of had to be like, so I'm going to be starting with a uh, 2106 uh, fertilizer with dimension. I'm going to put a spread rate of about a third away open on my spreader. And um, yeah. We're just going to drill these uh, fence post holes in real deep. Um, yeah, I'm going to drill um, because they like that. Because they like that, yeah. Because they like that, like real monotonous, uh, dirty talk. Uh, <clears throat> that was gonna be my uh, OnlyFans. Didn't do it. Couple more here, Rick Slick. Thank you for joining. FF <coughs> Shittings. Thank you as well, uh, Dilton Young. Thank you for the 100. Dang. Okay. Yo, it's dropping C notes, dropping blues, baby. Hey, I like blues. I collect them. I got a knot. I got a knot. I put it in my sock. Uh oh, I gotta change where I put it now. I gotta put, put it in my hat. I gotta put it in my hat. <laughs> Thank you, Dilton. Dylan. Excuse me. My yeah, bad, man. Dylan, I appreciate that. Long time fanboys. Got some decent deals starting to pop up in my area. If I were to get my own place, one of my siblings that I get along with uh, would be interested in renting a room off me. Should I take advantage of this unique situation now or hold for the epic crash? No, but uh, don't 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 screw yourself. Be be honest with the number and be fair with your friends. Too cheap, you're getting screwed. Too expensive, they're getting screwed. Come up with a nice, a nice number for everybody where everybody's cool or uh, share some responsibilities in that um, that'll come in handy. Get along. It's hard to do. So, um, yeah. I like this house. All right. You good? Um, hit it. Or if you got to hit it. I think he was asking, should he buy 
now or hold for what he says is the epic crash? Depends on where you live. I mean, I, the crash writing's kind of on the wall. There's no way that something's not going to get taken down with it. There's, there's got to be some effect. You know, all of it's going to take, like, even if it's a day or a week or a couple of weeks, it's going to take a hit. So, um, you could you could sit, develop an eye. You, you have two months of bullshit work to do with your credit union. That's all. So all of you want to buy, you ain't buying tomorrow. Even myself, when I tell, when I talk about like with this with my family and my wife and shit like that, like I'm buying a place, but it's gonna take till August. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I know I, I gotta I gotta go through it. I gotta go call my mortgage team and get them on the horn. Start begging them for money that I can't afford. So whether or not he's buying this one, he should get, go ahead and get like it, set up. Yeah, go to the credit union, get set up, have the conversation, set up, all, get all your affairs in order, get them all, your, get all your tax. That that's a little bit of work. So uh, just wait, wait, develop an eye, look at property. It's gonna take you a long time anyway. Even if you said yes right now, you couldn't buy a house. You couldn't buy a house by Monday. Push for a Sunday close. Um, <laughs> but hey, uh, go for it. Get jump in the mix. Doesn't cost you anything to kick tires. It's free. Realtors suck. Who cares? Waste their time. It doesn't matter. Thanks again for the 100, Dylan. But that thank you, all. bro. Thank you, honestly. It's going to take you a little bit to get to it. I hope that helps. I'm here. If you need some uh, guidance along the way, hit me with a house. Um, I got you, bro. I don't forget who give me them blues, dog. They on the list. Yo, they on a the little list. Writing it out. Ah! Big pun. Uh, 201 South Safari in Muncie, Indiana. I don't like this sump pump in the basement. Is it in a floodplain? It has a sump pump in the basement, but I don't really care that much. Um, yeah, right here. Hydrostatic sump pump. Okay, yeah, you better put that in there. Um, smoke alarms with lithium batteries. That's interesting. I don't know about that. Consumer, sec oh, com consumer security system connected to smoke alarms with lithium batteries. Interesting. Um, they're trying to make 35000 on it. Um, I don't mind the house. It's new. I don't love it. Um, but I can. it's improvable, and they're not gouging. That's the, the things I like. Needs a garage door and some curb appeal, some landscaping, etc. But it's a great starter home with a great layout, and it's big. Three bedroom, three bath. A lot of asses for that seat when you do decide to sell it. Everybody would buy that house. That's that's the house that sells the most, just so you know. You want to see the plain Jane house that sells every time? That It looks like that. Very easy to sell and get in and out of. Trades like a, uh, like a mid-metropolitan condo. Not going to make you a ton, but not going to be a difficult house to live in either. Yeah. Um, don't go crazy on the renovations because you probably won't get it back. You're probably going to trend with Muncie. Is that Muncie? You're going to trend with whatever the town of Muncie is, uh, the city of Muncie is doing pretty much. So uh, big news to you would be like a major, a Fortune 100 company putting jobs nearby. That'll, that'll, that'll jump the price up significantly for that house. That, that's typically what moves small town homes is a, I don't know, a, a big conglomerate moves in. We have like Amazon moving in downtown. So everything like 10 miles away from it for the mid-level management and the good money that comes in from out of town, uh, they, they're gonna buy the nice shit. Um, we're flying out to St. Joseph, Michigan, 3754. It's pending 195,000, two bedroom, one bath, 1940s ranch. Love this, love this house. Really do. Kitchen sucks, we knew that. A little step down walk out basement, walk out in the back. We're gonna cut a hole in that. Okay. We're gonna we're going to refigure the kitchen. If this is you pending on it, we're going to refigure the kitchen. Let's leave the bathroom for last. Hardwood, Nice hardwoods throughout. Um, a little screened-in porch over there for smoking weed. Um, I like the old-school finished basement. You can clean this floor, believe it or not. I would paint this black. Keep the light fixtures. Paint this ceiling black. Paint this a cool color. Try to box some of this in a uniform and then wax this floor. You can do it. Trust me. Um, it, they look good. I've seen a lot of them done well. You might have to drop a few trees, not a big deal, just to keep your yard sane back there. But uh, not many. Don't cut them all down. Leave yourself a nice enclave. You might even have to, you might have to take down the, the big old, the big old maple right in the back. Sorry, because um, it's just making a mess. But um, great house. I like it. If that's your house, I'm here to help. Backyard needs landscaping. I would refigure the kitchen where I move it out and then I would put a walk out to the back patio from the kitchen through that lower step out. I would bust that little, this little door down here. I would bust this door down here and put a, a all glass slide out, putting a big beam here, sistering it, and then putting like a glass door, glass light with a larger opening and uh, kind of work this in a little bit better. Reconfigure, you definitely have to smoke a joint in here and sit and figure it out. Um, but you're gonna be moving the plumbing from underneath, which is exposed, not a big deal. So moving the plumbing isn't a big deal in the house. Don't let fucking plumbers scare you with big words. Tom Tom York, thank you for joining Severe Thanks, Beast. Tom Tom York, the official. 
Uh, yeah. After you type that, can I get in there? Yeah. A couple of these aren't popping up on my phone. No problem. We got John Fiber with the 28. I'm the guy asking about fences a couple months ago. Let's just say I have an unlimited concrete supply. Do you have any idea how to make a concrete fence look good? Also, my roof needs to be replaced and I don't want to pay for it. Canada emoji. Hmm. Depends on your house, man. Um, you can do unlimited supply of concrete. If your house can take it, yeah. not many styles can take it. You can look up like a... Um, that's, a, that's a good thing to have, an unlimited supply of concrete. Yeah. Um, you shoot for like this look. Oh, yeah. Like this. Like that right there. You guys see what I'm talking about? I called it smooth concrete garden walls is the term I looked. This kind of stuff, black railing tends to do okay to lend itself decently like this. You don't have to do black. I actually wouldn't do painted. I would do, uh, you got to look it up, look up how to do it. There'll be dudes who know how to, like this, this is the look right here. That's, the, that's, that's what I'd shoot for instead of fencing. If you, have, if you have unlimited access, go for it. It'll look expensive, but you have, to, you have to go all the way with it. You can't just do one here and one there. You got to start from, it's a big, you're, you're shooting a concept yeah. on the house. Can your house take it? Will it look ridiculous? You know what I mean? Will it look like a, you know, like will it look like a, like a limousine with monster truck tires? Will it look like a minivan with, uh, you know, with a, the two Jay Z in it? Yeah. You know, so just make sure you're not going crazy. But that's that's where I'd start my look, my uh, start my lookbook, my Pinterest lookbook. But this is I like this look, like the pea stone gravel with the concrete walls and then the planted over. Um, I think about doing it sometimes at my property, but again. Uh, shooting concept, you know, like I, I, I don't have that anywhere else, so I'd have to like think about it. Hope that helps. Uh, good, good question. Uga Booga says, Nick, as a proud Puerto Rican man, I just want to know that the Borica community f's with you and wants to shake your hand. Este, eh, you know what? Mi corazón es quebrado ahorita, nena. Gracias por eso. Yo nunca pensaba que tú tienes mucho Borico, se quiere tocar mi mano. Okay? It mean, it mean a lot to me, baby, when you say that to me, okay? Because I'm not fucking around. And pimping ain't easy. And pimping ain't easy. <laughs> You're good at that. No, I, had a, I, I worked behind a Dominican guy for three years. Yeah. The shit that came out of his mouth was the best. Yeah. Frank Marino, the best. Yeah. I'll tell you a story one day when we're not loaded. Yeah. And it's like... Uh, Oh man, he was he had a he had a, like a Japanese customer. Yeah. And they were like it was a single guy and they were like best friends and they they couldn't have gone together differently. Like he was like a Japanese software engineer and Frank's like a lifelong Mercedes car salesman. Yeah. He like and the guy's like, "Oh man, I'm going to go get some sushi." And he's like I just I'm listening. It's like my third day. I'm like yeah. He's like, "What? Oh, you just hit him with sushi?" Okay. That's his customer says he's like, "I like sushi." You He's like Oh, you want to go? You want to go get some sushi right now? They're in the middle of a car deal. Yeah. He's like, I go get some sushi right now. Let's go. I just hold on. Let me just finish typing this email. I'm like listening to it. Yeah. And I'll send it, and then we'll just like I'll just tell them that we're going to take the truck and we'll go get some sushi. And then they just <laughs> left and went and got sushi. That was the, I, I went home and told my we were fucking dying. I like sushi. <laughs> so yeah, man. I but sincero, man. Sincero, nena. Last one here, Dollar with the $25. Thank you. Evening, boys. Uh, looking to get a farmhouse of five-plus acres in central Iowa within the next year or two. I'm seeing a lot of great places right now. Do I jump on something or do I sit on my hands for another year? Um, jump on something. Find something, though. It's not like, uh, honestly, the question doesn't go like that. Thank you. I appreciate the enthusiasm. for. But honestly, for those of you who are like, should I buy something now? I promise it ain't now. It won't be. You're gonna to get to the finish line a few times. If you're as much of a psychopath as you're watching us, you're not gonna be an easy sale. You know, you're gonna to wanna to look at the weird stuff. This is the hardest stuff to buy, like the stuff with character that's not Fox Briar. You know, like this, you know, like, like if you want something that's cool, this house sucks. But uh, it's, <laughs> go for it, start to look, look a couple of towns away. Honestly, look, look like 10 miles away, 20 miles away on other stuff. 
So you're not shitting where you eat, so to speak. Go, give yourself a practice run or two or ten. Oh, hell yeah. Way better. We just need to compete with the sun behind Yeah, not anymore. A million dollars for West Thumb Butte Road, Prescott, Arizona. 1,300 square feet built in 56. Foxbriar. It's time to save your life, slow down, and enjoy this vintage cottage. Nestled into... Lots of words. 80 days on Zillow. It's... Is this first time to market? Oh, they bought this for 153000 and they put a wagon on it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. This is like a psychotic thing. I'm glad they... I like, I like the fact that they put all the shelf brackets up like they're holding up the... Beam. Like, what are you doing? When I see stuff like this, there's so many what the hell is going on in this house, it's not even funny. Like, just hyper-carved, ornate, crappy-ass stuff that no one wants. The fish is cool, though. Um, it's the best piece in the room. Ugh. Tree of Life rug. A piano with embellishments. This is like an American Pickers guy, like a psychopath. This guy like sings opera in his bathrobe. Yeah, I hate it. Car's worthless. I wouldn't give you. I wouldn't give you sixty-five hundred bucks for the car. You'd probably punch me in the stomach if I said that. Don't care. I'm glad you have a nice doorway to nowhere. What are you fucking slash? Where am I? Like this looks like Anthony Kiedis's house. A uh, million dollars? No, you're you're psychotic. Um, literal psychopath. Uh, Prescott, Arizona. It's probably a really nice area. Your house is a total teardown, a complete gut job teardown. Not worth anything. No one's going to buy it. Um, millionaires don't act like they... Uh, there's no Renaissance Fair millionaires out in Prescott. I can almost bet on it. I can bet 80 days so far, none have shown up. I'm... Sh I'm, <laughs> I'm Sir Mistakes! I'm Lord Financial Mistakes. Hit there, hither. Hither thee. I am here to make a financial mistake. Camden, Maine. 153 Mountain Hour Drive, Camden, Maine. Four million. Oh, yeah. Sold for a million seven on t in 2016. Built in 1901, 10 acres. Yeah, again, you did a kitchen. Okay, so they did a kitchen. They opened it up. Is that a salamander in the wall? What is that? Is that a pizza oven? Okay. Um, uh, wow, they did a full, I like that. They did a full glass view here. This is a remodel. This is a fresh. Looks like it's pretty well done. That's original from when they bought it in 16 for a million seven. That might be redone. They must have put an addition on this. This must be the secondary kitchen. What's with the two chairs at the dining room, guys? Like, what are you, the loneliest motherfuckers in the world? Only two of us live here, Nick. Why well, no, we get my kids chairs? hate my guts because I. I lie about how much I spent on the property. They did landscaping, so this is new landscaping. New stone walls, probably 50,000 worth of stone walls. Wow, I love the garage though, holy shit. Courtyard, I like it. It's a really nice piece of property. Nice courtyard, nice six car garage. Rug look familiar, eh? Four million dollars, rug look familiar, eh? What'd you pay for it? What'd you pay for it, huh? Did they reuse the rug in staging? Gotcha, son of a bitch. Gotcha. Busted. Busted. <laughs> reuse the rug in the staging? Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy. Um, yeah, no, I'm not gonna give you that kind of money for it. I don't think... What did they do? Yeah, yeah, within walking. Yeah, you're, you're gouging, man. Unless someone bought it for a million seven. It is totally worth a million seven and 16. It's worth more than that. It's probably worth two and a half million bucks um, or three million bucks. I don't know. Um, 
Just not four point not one. not four point three million. Three. That's the just saying for Redfin's estimate. That's what they're putting on it. It's nice as shit though. But don't get me wrong, the house is nice. I thought they were trying to sell it for four million dollars. It was pissing me off. When people try to do shit like that, just it's it's just like it's so insulting. But yeah, no, this is this is a great thing. This is for like families with like legacy families. You know what I mean? It doesn't really work that good for old Nick. You know what I mean? And you got cousins that are sucking dick for Vicodin. Doesn't work out that good. Hey, you wanna stop that? We're gonna go up to the main house. This is for like <laughs> Bill Belichick's family. Um, got some chats. Guns for sale with the 100 subject. Hell been yeah. Yes, it has. Yo, guns for sale. What up, G? And hey, Nick, I hope you're enjoying the evening. I thought the stream started at 8 FML. Uh, if you got time, time to squeeze in another at the end, check out. We got an address. All right. I'll take it for you, buddy. He's an old pal, and it's, that's that. I got I to gotta take it. He's the guy. I bought my Fennec from him. Yeah. Yeah, I bought my He builds good Fennecs. I bought my Wilson and my Fennec from him. So he's uh he's he's got some sort of thirty five thousand Lockheed from Martin. Him. Yep. He's got a, he's got a connect. All the discontinued stuff from Lockheed Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Real cool stuff. <laughs> they just dump it off in his backyard. Yeah, yeah. He's, they do a, they do like a house sale once a year. <laughs> right, lady? <laughs> yeah, that's right, babe. I got it up. written down, man. Good to hear from you, man. What's that, honey? Sweet. Um few more jeremy with the 25 thank you bro 90k salary chill job as a lab director i uh, work 20-ish hours a week own no house no mortgage a uh, few bills do i ask for a raise uh, at risk of having to work a full 40 or just chill making 90 working as little as possible if you want more money is there something you can do that you know how to do on the side um, that you could do it forever, like a, like a side hustle. If not, um, I mean, that's kind of the dream and they will ask you to work 40. Most of the times, especially if it's a huge company, my experience is that when like the company's like a Fortune 500, Fortune 100 company, yeah, it, when you have like mid-level management, they're just gonna be like, yeah, I'll give you more money, no problem. And then they squeeze the shit out of you. Yeah. You know, that's what I've seen a lot. I'm not saying don't ask for a raise, no, go, uh, try, go for it, but be ready for, uh, you know, a, a, nice, a nice fuck you. Uh, we got brown bricks with the 25. I'm in the market for a car and I'm planning on buying a used one cash because I don't have a lot of money or income and my credit score is currently 685. Is that a good idea? If so, what should I look out for? Your credit score is not that bad. A lot of people punish themselves. If your credit's a 685, 670 or above is totally kind of normal. They call that tier one, tier two. In uh, interest rates, you have tier one, auto approval, tier one. It's pretty much for like people who are seven, ten, or above yeah. with a good income set situation. But with the rest of it, six seventy-five, you got marginal. Um, you could do a you you you'd probably qualify for a cheap Honda lease as opposed to a, a wreck. But if you're gonna buy a cheap car, buy a Camry, man. Just buy a cheap Camry, cheap Civic, it's Corolla. You just can't go wrong. CRVs, um, nothing with headaches. Try to buy an old lady car. Look for the cranberry one, the Atlantic blue one, the jade green one, the beige one. It's gonna be your best um, import those ugly colored ones because the G's want, you know, the kids that are going to rip them apart that have been ridden hard and put away wet, the black ones, the white, the silver, the, like the cool color ones. Look for the shitty color ones. That's the only secret I got. But uh, yeah, you, you'd finance for a Civic lease, 279 bucks a month, th three grand down. It's more money. I get it. But it's a, it's a car that runs you. And if you can swing it, try it. It's, or or uh, Those are cheap. Per Oculus with the 50, um, I'm looking at a single wide six vintage in Six Vintage Lane in Honeybrook, Pennsylvania as a possible first house that's closer to work and they listed it expensive. What, uh, I see, it's, just, it's an address. Mm. Uh, Peraculus, we're closed, man. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, you sent, we'll write yeah. it down. You sent 50. Oh, you sent, I, I got you. I but look, guys. Um, we're closed. Heads up. No more. Yo, no yeah. more, la, baby. I want to do it, but I, like, I got to be quick. I got to be like, bang, bang, bang. Like, bang, like pop, 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 pop. You got to look over. It's got to be like, pop. It's got to go like this. We got a flying out too. We have to fly, get on the yet and fly out to yet and Nick and fly on the yet to Six Earl Drive, Clark Summit, PA, 269. Mid-century ranch, split level, raised ranch. These kind of refinish well, um, to be fair. You rip the whole house apart. Hardwoods throughout, reside the whole thing, literally reconfigure the siding. The siding, there's a siding trick with houses like this. Um, watch this. Um, reciting a raised ranch. Modern. Um, all right. So this this house, all right. 
All right, you guys know this house. All right, everybody calls them the ugly raised ranch. The ones built in the 60s and 70s are pretty nice. They, they made them wide. They didn't, they didn't skimp. You can kind of do this kind of stuff to it now. Um, there's lots of ways to do, to do these over. Uh, look into it. I just Googled raised ranch modern siding. I didn't even Google it right. But uh, stuff like this. I love that. It's good. It's yeah. a good way to redo a house. Um, it's a siding trap. That one's not that good. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, some of it's going to age like milk. So keep in mind, use a timeless material, timeless design. But um, a siding job will fix a raised ranch because the interior layout is actually good. This is a, That's a bad example. But it's not yeah. bad. It's just white with new windows. Um, using that that's kind of a good way to do a raised ranch over a lot of people don't know that um, that's not a raised ranch so but nice house that's the way you could do that with that house buck yeah, this out siding change the shape of this do the pillars a little bit differently new front door maybe make it tall big light right here change these windows all uniform size glass garage door you know the drill you know the drill but uh, other than that nice house needs a lot of work but uh, 35, 40,000 bucks with a siding and a roof. And you're gonna have to change your roof color if it's tan. Not many color palettes. Uh, use an architectural shingle. Or check out some of the new uh, vinyl shingles, I think. I think it's a vinyl roof shingle. One of my professional friends is telling me about. J.H. Snyder, thank you for the five. J.H. Snyder, we got some chats here, Nick. Oh, John yeah. Fiber with the 28, thank you. Uh, concrete guy again. Our home is a 1946 rancher. It's the guy who has unlimited concrete. Yeah. 1946 rancher home. The wall will be six. Uh, is one? Uh, six feet. Six One's feet. feet. Six inches. Six <laughs> of course, inches it's six feet. Yeah, yeah six the wall feet. will be six inches tall. Yep. Um, the wall will be six feet tall and act as a sound barrier from the big trucks. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm, I'm concerned smooth concrete will make it look like a compound. Maybe use thin brick as a veneer. I need ideas. No, it won't. Use a use like a skim coat. Use like a, a skim coat. I think it's perfect for it. Paint it off white. Paint it off white, and then get like modern letters and use um. It won't look like shit. It'll look good. And then do um like you can put like a six by six wooden gates on the. Oh yeah. You know, on the 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 wall, like make your openings in your landscape. Put walkways with openings, like starts and stops. It won't look that. I don't think it'll look like a compound. Compounds look cool though. And if you don't like it that much, cover it with vine. Fucking cut if it, if you hate the look oh, of it, plant yeah. vine and hooks, and you can you cover it with uh, wisteria, cover it with morning glory, cover it with English ivy, cover it with fucking some climbing rose if you want. Do whatever you want. Partially cover it. That's cool. Or uh, espalier, espalier, es espalier, espalier. Some trees on yeah. it. Yeah, you'll see. B and T with the twenty five. Nick, it's the woodworker from the other day. Thank you for the advice. Part of my question was if you like green and green slash arts and crafts furniture or, or house design. You didn't answer, and I really want to know if you like it. Arts, yeah, no, it's the best. If you, it's got to be perfect though. Like uh, stickly furniture, arts and crafts, all that shit. You know, that's that's great. That stuff's dope. If it, we can't afford to build bungalows, but we should. Yeah, yeah, they're dope. A few more hypothetical oh. with the twenty five. Thank you, bro. I uh, love the show, guys. We'll be able to use my VA loan in September. Should I pay off my debts and put no money down or put 20K down payment? Also drove the new Toyota Crown. I like how it drives, but it kind of looks off. I don't like that car. I don't think that car is going to do well for Toyota. That's a really weird mis misstep for Toyota. It's yeah. nice. I know it's, it's probably a great, fine car. I'm not saying that. I don't think that the, the luxury sedans are the only thing that fails in the Japanese market. I'm just being straight with you. So you can't pay $64,000 yeah. for a Japanese luxury sedan without taking a little bit of a... Because the executive is just too big of an ego. They all want the S-Class. You know, the 7 Series is the worst on the market. The S8 is a shitbox. No one wants that either. It's The Lexus LS isn't even hot. That's how you know. The Lexus LS has been a fantastic car for years. It's not a popular seller for them, truth be told. I always thought it was great. It's not. So the Crown is going to be a weird thing. It'll be like the Avalon. Old people will buy it. But it's it's not a short ticket on that car. Zoloft Dependent with the thirty dollars and six cents. Thank you, Zoloft Dependent. I'm in my early and mid twenties, uh, currently pursuing a cybersecurity degree, but the market for professionals is way tighter than college advisors lead you to believe. Uh, what are your thoughts on IT? Better to find work somewhere else. Where it was it? Uh, I'm in my early and mid 20s, currently pursuing a cybersecurity degree, but the market for professionals is way tighter than college advisors lead you to believe. Oh yeah. What are some your thoughts on IT? Better to find work in something else? Yeah, you can go, you can go work for a financial firm. 
That is actually probably yeah. Go work for a financial firm. A buddy of mine who works IT just got a job with like not like Fidelity. They all hire for that same thing. You're just doing like you can work in finance, believe it or not, with that. Just say you trade. I don't fucking know why. Um, this guy wants landscaping. Sorry. Bill Gates blows with the 25. Recently started working with a realtor. Uh, it seems cool enough, cool enough. But then she tried to gaslight us into thinking the market isn't declining when it clearly is. Uh, also gave our info to a lender without permission. I think she's fired now. Oh, interesting. That's that's a little slimy. Um, yeah, I don't like that. But how's the lender? Um, Shit, how's the... All right. Um, shit, he needs landscaping. This guy needs landscaping. Hey, Damn. Two more here? Yeah, I do you think. Don Lamoni with the 25. Hey, Nick, uh, how hard and costly is it to add windows to a wall without a window? Not that hard. you got to cut a hole in the wall. you got to watch out for uh, HVAC. And what's behind the wall? You cut the drywall down. You saw the things. You put a header up. You, you drop it. You put a header up. You put some fucking jack studs on the side. Yeah. Frame it out. Put a window in. You're going to have fucked up siding on the other side. You're going to have fucked up trim on this side. Just be ready for that. Um, you got to watch out for electrical wires that, that could be in there. So your first your first order of business is going to be cutting the hole from the inside of the house where you want it. Or having a window guy come in and put it in is probably the best. Have a, have a pro. Windows are no, like they're not easy. Um, but you got to frame for it. Essentially, you have to sit it on something. The window sits on like a, a rectangle. So you know, you know how wall studs go like this. You have a rectangle where you have to like basically build a small rectangle where the window sits on, pitch everything perfectly. You have to tape the window siding on the outside. It's, it's tricky. It's not, depends on how shitty the house is, you know, how crazy you are, but you're gonna have a fucked up siding and needs to tape, rip the siding back and the, the, the blast zone and where you're repairing the window, you're gonna have a siding repair, some trim on that. Um, then you're gonna have to build a rectangle. The, the window itself is gonna be, then if you have a one window is to match the rest of the windows, does it look like shit? And then you're gonna have a you know a header, but look it up. It's it's not it's not that easy actually. To be honest with you, it's it's not windows aren't easy. Windows aren't an easy thing. I would uh I would look at the job as a whole. Take a step back, take a breather. Why don't you smoke a joint and think about it before you want to? Yeah, I would. Hey man, I, I'll be straight with you. If you're doing landscaping, I think the siding job in this house would get you way more value. And then you're gonna do the siding anyway because you're gonna fuck your house up. Um, you could drop this oak, but I, it's a whole nother question. Honestly, I really would. Um, you need a patio. It's a full drawn patio back there. You have a nice backyard though. You have a nice backyard and the front yard's really nice as well. Um, this stone wall, I would just get it refitted. You have a drainage problem right here. There's water coming down somewhere over here and then this isn't pitching out. So you might actually have a little break in the brick over here. So you wanna get this wall strained out by a mason. Uh, your walkway's really far down your driveway. I'd probably push that to over here at the same time and then redo some of the planting on this parallel. Basically this rectangle to the left and the right completely uh, planted fence here um fence here matching give yourself like a plank fence so the front of your house kind of shows um you know decent decent privacy fence throughout the backyard and then uh but i think siding is going to be your spend on that and i think you'll be really happy with spent money there honestly windows and siding professional jazz this up you'll find it just keep coming up with ideas you got a nice deck don't fuck with the deck the deck's fine people always rip their deck i love these 70s deck with the yeah. built-in bench yeah that's good it's good leave it and then Give yourself a lower patio somewhere. It looks like they put everything really far into the yard, which is just old school way. But uh, yeah, stairs to a patio over here. Um, leave the wood line. Keep your grass line separate. And keep your patios close to your house. <coughs> um, if that's you, let me know. Let me let me know. Honestly, it's a nice house though. Seriously, a lot of people shit on those houses around here. Sylvan Road. Waltham, Mass. No. Northwestport. Gotta welcome our new members, uh, Fox. Thank you for joining, and Scrungo joining Freak Monster Nasty. Wow! Thank you, man. Uh, thank you guys so much. Zen Griffey Jr. with the five, and uh, uh, for the for uh, you fellows who just sent super chats, I'll hit those right after we do this next house. Yeah. So this is how we're gonna put the the um, fertilizer down. Yeah. All right. I think I'm. Did we look at this house before? Ooh, this house is nice. Yeah, it's cool. This is a nice house. Nice house. The built-ins. Yeah, this is a... Brick flooring. French doors blocked by a couch. Smart. You can tell the previous owner was useless. Nice staging. Great staging, guys. Really. Honestly, the stage... You should, you should drown your stager. Yeah. 
I'm glad this rich guy had like it's probably like a stockbroker, like a like a fat and mess stockbroker. He's like, I don't know, have Linda put some things in the house so it doesn't look empty. And then she just stuffed it with stupid things from a warehouse. The laziest staging I've ever seen. Yeah, cool. Nice patio furniture inside a $5 million house. Good job. Fake name. Thank you for joining Severe Beast, sir. Oh, Wayne's coating in the ceiling in the kitchen. I love the house, too. Look at the fireplace in the kitchen. God damn. Tudor. Look at this hallway. Bluestone. Brick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's new. That damn, that's nice. Just to a separate wing of the house. Nice. Great. Who's your stager? Fucking the Podesta brothers? Jeez Louise. Nice Unilock pool ruining the entire house. Is it Unilock or is it brick? Because that brick doesn't look like a real color. Oh. Tennis court. All pro. All pro. Yeah. Wow. A viewing room for the tennis courts. You can sit there and get loaded and piss your pants. You gotta hit it, Sylvia. Sylvia, you gotta, you gotta backhand it. Wow, an addition. Oh, new windows in the uh, in this part of the house. It's a castle. Hmm, it's a castle. Garden wall. Nice photoshopped grass. The representation of this house is liter is as bad as it gets, which tells me I'm looking at a greedy pig. I know I'm gonna see greed here. Four point three seven million, three acre lot, ten. Three ninety nine a square foot. I'm not mad about any of that, but I know I can smell a pig when I see one. I can tell by your house you're a filthy, disgusting pig. Come on. It rented for thirty five thousand a month, so it rented on a wow. It rented for ten thousand a month, and then thirteen thousand a month. And then they try to fool everybody. Aww, did you think that I was gonna fall for that one? Nice try, guys. Here's what they did. They listed the house for rent for 55,000 and 35,000 to fool someone hunting on a rental basis, like a millionaire being like, well, it rented for 50,000 a month. No, it didn't. It mm -hmm. never rented. It was unrented. Oh, and then it was listed for twenty-five thousand. I mean, even they were actually trying to rent it. Yeah. So this house has been unmaintained, untouched. It sold for two and a half million to a jerk off in nineteen ninety-seven. They did nothing to it, and now they want their five million dollars back. Nope. Now this is a guy that I can level with. This is a guy that would tell me off, and I would love, I would adore the opportunity to go toe to toe with this this asshole, to be like, listen. I'll give you 2.2 million, all cash, 60 day close. Get out of here, you're crazy. I'm like, the, it needs a roof? The roof is 165,000, okay? You've done nothing to it, you've never rented to it, and the last renters were here spilled gin all over the room. It smells like piss in there. The gates are creaking, the mechanicals whistling and wheezing, everything needs to be replaced, the chimney, slew, uh, chimney flue, all seven of the chimneys are filthy. The water quality is low. You have a break somewhere underneath the ground. Your mechanical room has asbestos in it. Okay? The <laughs> stove is the stove functions, okay? Not all the burners on the stove work. All right? The the the, the staging is is dog shit. I'll give you 2.2 million and then I probably get it for 2.8. But uh Everything would be broken on this house. The pool, it's running funny. It looks like it's losing water. This cheap gazebo that you did. This cheap, rat-ass, copper-top gazebo. Um, it's, just, it's just really neglected for the past 25 years, and someone's going to pay for it, and it's not going to be me. That'd be my pitch. Um, so that, that would be my half-price offer pitch. It would sound like that. Hit some chats here. Hell yeah. Hey, DJ Drew. What's the DJ, what's the DJ noise? Yes. <laughs> Yep, Thank you for joining. One. Yeah, that's like... <laughs> <laughs> wicky, DJ. Wicky. Yeah, wicka wicka. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried, man. Sometimes uh, you miss. Thank you, DJ Drew, for joining. Uh, low seven. <laughs> <laughs> low seven with a 25. Uh, Nick, I got an 05 CRV. I bought for 500 bucks from my friend's aunt. I slapped all-terrain tires on it. Uh, I can't believe how much I love this car. Had it for four years, road tripping, off-roading, and drifting through snow. Seriously, if the world was perfect, we'd all drive CRVs. You've heard me say it before. If you need an SUV, go with a CRV. It's just a, it's just a God, Honda just, Honda just does the right thing. I don't know what to say. Not always, but most of the time. 
Good for you, bro. Honestly, it, I, can, I can't. I mean, I can't express the joy of a car that doesn't fuck you over. I drove a Toyota Sequoia for like four years. It yeah. never screwed me over. I loved it. I used to beat the brakes. I, I mean, I drove it hard. I skidded it. I drifted it. I, I bought tires for it. It had rusty brake lines. It was awesome. I was yeah, like, I remember there was a video where you were quoted as saying, "In a perfect world, everyone would drive CRVs." Yeah, or something. We'd all drive CRVs. Me. If you buy shit and you need like, because cars, you can't fit things in them. Yeah, sedans. That's the problem. Yeah. CRVs you can. Mm -hmm. Pickup trucks even better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Crew cab pickup trucks, small ones. Woo! Woo! Toyota Tacomas. Oh my god. But they ride like shit. CRVs actually kind of drive nice. Uh, Kevin S. Uh, with the 25. By the way, there's a ton here. We got to burn through them. Uh, hey Nick, sold my car to a dealer. Wanted to upgrade this weekend, but my deposit is on hold at the bank till 4:20. Get it? Uh, while a you dealer know, still work it. with me. Will the dealer still work with me, or should I wait till next week? I at least have my auto loan ready to go. Just wait. You got an auto loan ready to go. You're 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 the client. They'll put a deposit on a car. Find something you like. Just wait. How were they on the pay? Did they pay you right away for the car? Were they decent with you? Give them the business. Be fair. Say I want to give you the business. Can you do? Give me a little bit off the car. Give me a little bit of a discount. Find something you like. <clears throat> Ask the salesman if there's anything really decent. A really decent trade. Keep an open mind. <coughs> uh, Jared J. Hey, Nikki, two-piece uh, two here. Uh, when will rug aficionado hats be back in stock, Nick? And can you give an informative to my mom as to why not to buy a QX80? Love you. A QX80? That's the worst car ever made. Um, we'll get mom, the hats in listen. stock this week. <laughs> um, we'll get them back. Order away. Um, the QX80 is the biggest girl asshole car on the planet, period. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. That is a um, that is a uh, a no nothing, no friends in the car business piece of shit. They drive, they rick it. The suspension blows out on them. They're rat ass. They're they're overpowered. I don't know if they're overpowered anymore. They're the they're the worst in the luxury line. Do you know how embarrassing it is to have? It's it's really embarrassing to have a luxury car and the lowest ranked one, like yeah. Jaguar Infinity. Yeah, it's Cadillac. When you pull up to like Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, BMW, Lexus, yeah. in one of in a Cadillac, Jaguar, uh, Infinity, it's it's like you drove it in a fucking clown car. Do you guys laugh we, about we it? We all as a know what's coming. Yeah, uh, like just someone with like a. What do you mean it's only worth thirty three thousand? I owe fifty eight thousand on it. It was eighty thousand. You're like, yeah, it was like, no, it wasn't. You didn't pay eighty thousand. They give you thirteen thousand off it because they can't sell them. Yeah, and they suck. You have bald tires. The car gets three miles to the gallon, and it, you look like a like a what do they call those? Um, fucking multi level marketing women. Yeah, like a psychopath, like trying to sell me leggings. Yeah, like from Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, tell your mom to have a drink, take a seat, smoke a cigarette, and look out the window, mom. You're crazy right now. You need some ice on the back of your neck. Uh, Finn with the 25. I have an 09 Mercedes ML 350 uh, that has severed, served me well. It was a hand-me-down, and I will always be partial to Benz. I'm a mid-20s with the ability to buy a truck, new or pre-owned. Are there any mid-sized trucks that you approve of? Thank you. Mid-sized. Um, the Chevy Silverado lease is short, and the Nissan Frontier has a... Supposedly, supposedly the Nissan Frontier leases have an 85% residual. I don't believe it. But um, supposedly the new, new Nissan Frontier crew cab leases are crazy. Just throwing that out there. Sebastian Hart, thank you for joining, man. Uh, moving on to Satoru with the $25 and one cents. Thank you. Looking to buy a new car at the moment, and I'm willing to drop eight or 10 up front, but it looks like the used car market is kind of jade right now. Uh, give me three models to stay away from and three to keep my eye on for price range. Thanks. What's he want? What kind of car? Uh, new car? Eight, eight to 10 the, range. What should he be looking for? Eight to 10. Um, 09 Acura TL top tier is uh, Acura TL TSX wagon TSX Lexus ES 350 Lexus RX 300 good one cars to stay away from anything Jaguar anything uh, high mileage Audis anything a kid owns anything that like hype beast kids are into you don't want any of that shit yeah um, they're just gonna be ridden hard put away stay away from the <laughs> infinities um they're not, they're not all bad. The cars aren't that bad. Um, and then trucks. Um, 08 to 14 Silverados. Crew cab Silverados. Or, sorry, Sierras. GMC Sierras, if you can find them. Uh, we got Zen Griffey Jr. with the 50. 
Yo. Zen Griffey Jr., Yo. thanks for the 50, but look, sometimes people miss the first shot and they give us an address. You gave us an address after the warning shot. Uh, we'll put you Tuesday. I guess we got an address here. We can't. I can do it. I'm flying. Uh, I can do it. I'm gonna be. But we gotta make an example, Nick. No, I don't want to make an exa example. I don't do it. You know what that remind me of? The teacher who yell at me, tell me I'm never gonna be nothing. <laughs> it's that kind of defeatist attitude that I never like. <laughs> I don't like a defeatist attitude. I like it when people say, you know what, man? Sometimes you make a mistake, and sometimes here's my hand for help. That's what it means. I don't. I didn't do my homework. I copied from the girl, and you know who was cool? Ali Diborada. She gave me the free homework, always helping me out, and she never complained. She no. She no brow beating me. Uh, we still got mad more here to burn oh, through. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Platypus One Hundred. Thank you, man. Uh, yo, Jet. Uh, need Nick's recommendation for an older four-door, four-wheel drive car to off-road. Um, wait for collapse and snag a forerunner slash Tacoma. World peace. Forerunners and Tacomas are literally recession proof. They get worse when when uh, recession. You really? get like Mercedes buyers buying fucking forerunners. So just buy one. Uh, I don't like I don't like forerunners. I'm not a big forerunner guy. Moving on to anonymous with the fifty. Uh, need a quick MDE tip or skip? Just giving thanks. Uh, my house is a mess and mommy hid the cleaning supplies under the floorboards. I'm ready to completely gut the house to find what I need, but I don't want to damage it. Maybe it's just time for a cigar. Yeah, just time to take a seat. Just time to sit down, sit down and have a nice cigar. She hid something under the floorboards. You want to rip them all out? She hid something under the floorboards? The cleaning supplies under the floorboards. I'm ready to gut the house. Get out of here! My mom used to do that! <laughs> John Stupid, nice to meet you. Yeah, my mom used to hide stuff under the floorboards all the time. No way! Um, John Fiber with the 28. Today is all about concrete. Wall idea sounds great, Nick. Uh, now, how can I use my infinite concrete machine into my landscaping? Uh, magazines I should look into. Again, as a rancher outside in Vancouver, I'll send pics when it's complete. Yeah, look up uh, walkway dye and tinting concrete coloring. I like the dark, cre dark, dark green concrete color tinting. I'm going to do black, black concrete with exposed aggregate on a patio here. I'll show you pictures of it when I'm done. I'm doing that in a couple of weeks. I called the guy. I just got to get it done. I've um, never really done one, uh, executed one. I've done it a couple of ways, but I like a uh, tinted concrete exposed aggregate. It's the best way to do it, man. Make your walkways and your pathways and start drawing them up. Covering in vines is a good idea, man. You should do that. It'll look fat as fuck. All good with the 25. He says the DJ noise is erupt, erupt. Oh. There we go. All Thank right, cool. You. Josh Ridgeway. Hey, I'll, I'll, I will never forget that. Josh Ridgeway with the 25. Hey, Nick, 20-year-old from New Jersey, nine months into an HVAC apprenticeship, uh, needing a work truck for side jobs uh, at a 2011 F-150 with 150,000 miles for 8K. This is a good deal, or am I just clueless? Buy a van. What type? Get a Sprinter van. If you can, get a Ford or a Sprinter van and just fucking fuck it. Bite the bullet and lease one. Or buy, I'm sorry, buy one. Uh, new is even better if you can't find a used one. Vans are better. My buddy had a pickup truck, and then he immediately bought a Sprinter van. My best pal, Ryan Kraus, powered by Kraus. Oh, yeah. He's a union electrician. He does uh, get a van if you can. Spy. We got Spy here with the 25. Thoughts on the VW Golf Snake? I bought mine in 2012. Uh, bought my new in 2012. Drove across the country with it twice. Lived in it for two years. Only problem I ever had was the oil gasket, and I think I'll be driving it until the wheels fall off. You will be able to drive it and fix it until the wheels fall off. My two, a couple of pals of mine have them. I hate them, though. I fucking can't stand them. I think they're the stupidest cars ever made. I hate them. But they are good cars. My buddies love them. They're like culty. Uh, Shrek Ogre with the 50. Nick. I gotta run in. Huh? I gotta jump in. Okay. Oh, you have, you're gonna lose them. Um, there's just mad. We'll All right. do this last one. Right. Shrek Ogre with the 50. Uh, Nick, tell Jack he has a long nose and a funny hat and he runs the banks. Shrek Ogre. First of all, my name's Jet and I don't appreciate the anti-Semitism. Cool it. Cool it, man. So if you want to see a house that tried to flip... All right, so so see how this house is so beat? They bought this house for 166000 bucks last year. They painted and refinished the things. Remember I always say a coat of white paint does magic? This guy's asking for $150,000 for a coat of white paint. Now, I can do floors like that. I've done them. Great job. You just redo the floors. They gutted it. They put some new molding on it. They put some new doors down. They put some new windows in. Good for them. They did nothing to the exterior. Vinyl sided. Um... Did they put new mechanical in? They put a new kitchen in for, you know, 6000 They did hardwoods upstairs. But amazing what a coat of white paint does. You know what this room looks like when it's brown and purple and it's painted and there's, like, fucking shitty stuff. They didn't change any of the light fixture or the electrical, though. It's a very fast and quick and dirty flip. 
on a piece of property. Um, they want to double their money. Um, if you don't want to do anything, I actually don't hate the house. Um, I like it better. Uh, I would love to buy it for 260. That would be the magic number if you like it. I don't. I don't hate the property. It's a little close to the road. You are paying someone to do it, but check out the boiler. See what the mechanical situation is. Uh, if they really did everything, they did a decent enough job to where I'm suspecting that they might have done a good job uh, with the mechanical. But count the money, literally, dudes. Just count the money. Start at 166,000 and then go through everything that they said is new and just count it. That's how much they're making. Less the realtor fees. Yeah. You know? And then the holding costs. So 166,000, let's say it costs you, let's just say it costs you 1,200, 1,000 a month, whatever, for the money. For 1,200 a month for the juice. If it took him a year, 12 months, 14,000 on top of that. So 166, he's into it for 180. Then he's got the 5% or 6% for the realtor fees. So whatever that, you got to come down there. And then you got to go in through and add up all the shit. That's how you do it. I don't think I've ever said that before. My, my apology. So that's, that's how you do it. You know, how much are you paying them? How much am I giving you to, to fix the house up? You can ask the question. I get kicked all the time, right in the chin, just like that. People do it to me like that all the time. And then I say, you know, trust me. Well, when I sold cars, it was every day. Every day for years, 10 years, getting spit at, right in my hair. People spitting, people putting bubble gum in my long ponytail. 180,000, 1555, Cherokee Gold Trail, Ball Ground, Georgia. Ball Ground, five acres. I like the five acres part. You so like the ball ground part? I like the ball ground part. Balls on the ground. <laughs> something we say out here. <laughs> this is something we say oh, out here. The house is it's a fucking double wide trailer. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not expecting. It's five acres though. So... I'm gonna call the trailer itself the unit. I don't hate double wides. I don't. I don't like have a problem with them. Stigma, like it's all by. It's not in a trailer park. It's just a cheap double wide with a big deck put on it. It's a dwelling on a piece of land. Now, is Ball Ground Georgia nice? Because the land looks kind of nice. I don't know what the scoop is, but it looks out in the sticks of Georgia. Made so, me homesick. Yeah, you want to? I'd to go back there, man. Uh, you can go. This was built in '98. Uh, this is for a house for someone who wanted to build a cool house but has a dwelling on it. So what does five acres of land in Ball Ground, Georgia trade for? And then let's call the unit, let's call it 60 grand. It's not, but let's call it 60. So is five acres worth 120,000? And then the aggravation of setting that all up? I mean, it's kind of existing. You got the deck. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not that crazy. I actually kind of like it. No one sees it from the road. I mean, when they're there, you do live in a trailer, but it gives you enough opportunity to like live, have a dwelling, live off the road, plot and scheme, save some money. It is what it is. And then you can build a nice house down the road. And you can do it slow. It's like a construction trailer. A couple uh, more here. Mm -hmm. uh, Lightning Stab says, Hey, Jed Nick, uh, just thought it would be awesome for you to, to do a stream just like this, except for instead of houses, you review cars and motorcycle or eBay listings. Thoughts? Uh, you guys are great. Keep it up. I appreciate it. I hate cars so much. I'm here doing this because I hate the car business so much. Yeah, if you right. like cars, you'd still. <laughs> yeah, still if I like cars, I'd be doing cars. I, I fucking hate them, dude. I want to I shoot cars. I'm literally going to blow cars up that I own for cost. Because I hate them so much. I'd rather blow them up for cost than collect them. That's not a joke. And I bought the cars right. And yeah. I'm still going to just cost them out yeah. and blow them up. I don't care. I can't wait to. I'm like, I'm like frothing. Can we start planning that? Oh, I yeah. Have guns. We can blow Oh, yeah. Them no, up. no. We're going to shoot the side of it with a Fennec up close. Really? Yeah. Camera right here. Bullet holes. Like, pop, 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 pop. Like lighting I, the car up. I bought silver yesterday at, mm -hmm. at a coin shop. They have another Fennec for sale. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, well, yeah, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, grab I'm it. Not, I'm actually not joking. Oh, man. All right. Well, you might as well grab it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tape it to a go-kart. <laughs> I'm going to get a high-speed shifter cart and then have a Fennec. It would be shifter cart Fennec drive-bys. <laughs> like 88-mile-an-hour yeah. golf cart. 132 mile an hour shifter carts. All right. Dude, if we could actually get a video of you shooting a car with a Fennec and make the joke real, I with think a it would be car? worth it. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, a few more here. Interscope 8 with the 25. What are some things to do to a 40 by 50 steel pole barn to help increase the curb appeal and property value? It's bare walled, cement floored. I want to insulate it, put finished walls in and a ceiling. Am I on the right track? Mm hmm. Go to a lumber yard. Make a deal with a sawmill, like a low budget sawmill, if you can clad it cheap and quick. If not, go all plaster one shot. 
um, finish our uh, sheet rockers. Have sheet rockers come in, get the whole thing like a studio white. But do run all your uh, run really considerate uh, recess cans, two inch recess cans, three inch recess cans, uh, all over the place. Make it look like a like an all white art studio. That would be dope. Um, or and then cost it out um, with one by twelve pine painted, one by ten, one by eight, one by ten, pine painted. As cheap as you can find it. We got Boosie with the 25. Hope y'all are doing swell this evening. I'm going to start an electric lineman training in a month or so. Is moving back home to New Hampshire for work a good move, or should I take this opportunity to work somewhere crazy like Alaska? No, nah, man. No. I, I think it's the right move. I think New Hampshire is going to be different. I, I like it, man. I like God, this house sucks. Uh, actually, it's not bad. Um, no, I would I would totally move to New Hampshire. I think New Hampshire, I think you're going to come home to a whole slew of new things going on. New Hampshire and Maine are pretty hot right now. I think they're, they're on the up there. You're buying it at the bottom, so... Set up shop there. There's going to be a lot of people needing some uh, some work. Uh, loaf with the uh, 20 here. Yo, Nick, John Mouse for WP2? I hope so. I hope so. We'll try I've got calls to his people. I've got calls to his people. Uh, Fuzzy Man 21 with a 25 Canadian. Uh, Jet, put sh the donations to 50. Nick, can you please give me a 35-minute explanation of how car leases work? <laughs> oh, by the you way. You rent a car. This note on the uh, address here? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I think that's like... All right, up there. Uh, one, one last yeah. one before we hit it. Shrek Ogre with the 50. No, Jet. I was literally talking about a guy named Jack, not you. Heart emoji. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Hey, man. I got I get you. mistaken a lot, okay? I'm self-conscious. That's it. We're caught up. Uh, yeah, this house is uh, 2004... Gone wild by a casino builder. This is awful. This house is dead up awful. It has a river. That's a river fountain running through it. This is a casino builder. This is awful house. Terrible, tear down piece of shit. What's the word? Is it linea aspara? Linea aspara? No. Design, aspera design. What, is what the fuck is it? No, what's that word? There's a term for like 2004 design. I don't know what it's called. It's like, it's it's more in like software and stuff. Oh, chat, you guys are smart. This house sucks. It's all stupid. Like 2004 money, like track lighting, all this crap. Custom painted cabinets. These stupid squiggle handles that everybody got. I actually put those on my first condo. No bullshit. Um, I bought those in 2000. Five or six or whatever the fuck I bought those stupid squiggle fucking New York loft um, it's built by like all this dumb shit that no one wants it's complete tear down um, so beat it's so expensive too how much is this piece of crap 4.7 eh, 4. it's kind of cheap cheap for the mm. I want to be straight it's a lot of square footage for 4.7 uh, it's 159 bucks a month. It's on an acre. The, you guys showed me that real estate guy's house. That, like, guy who made it. Like, this is a better... Is this the term for the 2004? Frutiger Arrow? Yeah, maybe. Fru Thank you, Chad. Thank you. Yeah, they're saying... They're all saying Arrow. Mm. This is, like... This is that. I don't... Yeah, like, that kind of shit. That's That's the term I'm talking about. There was like a whole bunch of like design style that kind of came along with this on the interiors of like casinos and shit. <coughs> that was just like, people who did that did this. Like this kind of crap. See? It's stupid. And it's not going to come back. And no one, like there was, no one was even, a pre like, like, it was like a, I don't know. It, if it was going to happen, it would happen right now with like diesel being super popular and shit like that. You know what I mean? This yeah. is the time. And it's just not. Like this is bad. Um, this it's such a narrow way to go, and it's it's whack as shit. It looks like a um, it looks like a tile importer's house. It's bad, uh, but four million though is not bad, not that bad. It's decent bones to work with. Uh, I don't think they're like you, the, the 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 building itself is fine. It needs a ton of work, but you could gut it. It is a complete gut job down to the studs. We take that stupid fountain out. That's ridiculous. But um, yeah. Highway 20. Um, Shrek Ogre, man. Thank you for the back-to-back -back 50s, man. Thank you for the support. Just wanted yeah, to man. run that back. YouTube bot account 69420. 
with the 20. Uh, hey, Nick, just got my Soviet auto safety poster from Shamanix. It is top quality stuff. Uh, stay real, boys. Thank you for the entertaining and educational streams. Appreciate it. It's a good blend of the two. It's a good one. I got, I got, I, I ventured out. I got some cool shit coming. I have some Greek stuff coming. I have for any, really? of, any of my Greek friends. I have some Opolis for you. I've got Opolis. Uh, I've got some cool Greek shit coming out uh, that I just picked up that I really like. So, um, yeah, cool. Appreciate that, though. Thank you, man. That stuff. Uh, I hope it looks great on the wall. It'll dress up a place. I saw some in, I saw some in Architectural Digest today. Some Russian posters. I felt good. Felt like I was right on point for you. Not trying to bring you the shit. Uh, Connie Man, thank you for joining Severe Beast. Guys, we have a goal. We need 50. We need 50 beasts. Imagine 50 Ro beasts 50 in beasts one room. 50 beasts roaring Cerberus. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. And last yeah. one before we get back into it. Lil Musty with the 20. Uh, thank you, Lil Musty. Nick, I bought an ML350 for 10K, under 50K miles. I think it's a 2008. What are your thoughts on the ML, specifically pre-2010s? Do they age well? I'm hoping you have it yeah. for the next 5 to 10 years. What do you think when you see a Benz? My brother Jake had an 08 uh, ML350, and then he had a, a 13... Uh, we're, we're, he's a, he was a 5 ML guy. He loved MLs. Drove them, put crushed miles on them. A um, little expensive, but not bad. Seven, eight, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is when Mercedes was buying back their customers after the horrific, horrific things that went down during the Chrysler years. So some of those, the 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 C classes are pretty bulletproof. The ML, pretty great car. Uh, you'll, you'll be fine. They can run for many, many, many miles. Just got to upkeep, upkeep on them is no joke. Um, but find a good find a good mechanic. Keep up on the oil and brakes and and the rubber when it rots. Sauce is dope. It's finished poorly, but it is absolutely stunning. Look at this. I've never worried about anything in my life. We're over here not worrying about anything in our life. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, would you like to not worry about anything in your life? You're like, get away from me, scram! I don't believe you. Um, Putting people in the staging yeah, photos that's is kind of ballsy. Out of control. Uh, these paddle waters out here. What yeah, the Yeah, they hell? get eaten by a Loch Ness monster. That speaks English. Um, I mean, absolutely stunning view. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, the art, this is absolutely ridiculous. Holy crap. The, the, the furniture and the finishings, though, is awful yeah it's like the the stuff they filled this with is insultingly bad it is very this i mean this this is finished like look at the the lit high back bar oh my god <laughs> we're here in, hey chat you worrying about anything nope not me brent vermont boys win <laughs> remember when we paid for nothing always awesome <laughs> Remember when we never had to work? Yeah, me too. Or else I, I don't even remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, freaks. Um, I'm not seeing many, uh, look, I'm only seeing white people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it honest. They're not AI generated people, those are real people. <laughs> like this, uh, the furniture, you're like all the, these $17,000 Ormolu pieces stuffed everywhere, this $10 rug. Ten dollar crap rug. These two matching crap ass runners. Um, oh my god! The yeah, picture yeah, of them yeah, enjoying yeah, yeah, the movie. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> cheering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, they're doing yeah, this. Yeah, like, yay! Raise your hand like We're, you do in the movie. Yay! <laughs> We're gonna watch. <laughs> We're gonna watch uh, True Detective season one. Oh, sweet! Mom and Dad put on the wreck. The What's the what's like the scariest movie of all time? Uh, the the one that like people like puke and oh, hemorrhage um, over. Oh, uh, the the Exorcist. Ho Hangover Three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters. No, um, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's amazing what money can do, man. It's just it's because the house is obviously built without an expense, but just absolutely. What the hell are you thinking with some of these finishes? In in Nevada. Crystal Bay, Nevada. Wow. Damn. Rent is thirteen thousand a month. So we we trading this thing at two million bucks. Sixty four million they listed it for. Wow. Wow. Never gonna get that. Don't even care. Probably spent twenty. Sixty four million. Unbelievable. You could buy like a European country. 
Yeah, pass. There's a lot of $64 million houses on this one. Nope. Um, we got Chris says, thoughts on removing popcorn ceiling on my own? Do it. Look up TikTok videos. It's not hard. I've done it. Put tops. I can do put it. Put tops down. You can do it. Uh, e Duck You can do it. Uh, Jet, I am a collector of gold and silver myself. What is your exit strategy uh, for your physical when the time comes? It looks like we got an eight-year cycle low, so we might be in for a nice payday in a year or two. Uh, to put it briefly, e Drift, uh, I think we're going to start a commodity super cycle, okay? Uh, so at the end of the uh, eight-year cycle, uh, I think we're going to enter a new super cycle of commodity oil, agriculture, water, natural gas, gold, and silver will be the one that performs the most. My price target is $800 an ounce. That's with uh, the current value of the dollar, given the conditions that would... Things have to be really bad for that price target to be met. Um, it'll be like uh, like people buying up you know plots of land in the USSR when it collapsed. Uh, that is my what I think will happen. The unfortunate reality I see sometime in my lifetime. No rush though, uh, but we're going to buy when the blood is running in the streets, guys. That is my plan. Um, I'm gonna buy this even though the TV's in the wrong spot. A million and a half dollars. Oh, I'm gonna put the TV, TV on the left. It's fine. We're just gonna snap next. Good rug collection, I will say. These people do know how to make a room. I mean, look at the talking. Look at what this cat, this new Kazakh is doing. They spent money, million and a half bucks. Good for them. One rug right in the hallway. Good for them. Honestly, good for them. Bang. Good for them. Good for them. Turkish dual medallion, new. And then they had a couple of antiques in there. Decent collection. Uh. It's expensive, but it's it's all the way finished. I'll say this about this house. It's not cool. It's a McMansion. I don't love it, but I will say this. If I am looking at a McMansion, all right, and this is just what my family expects of me, my father, Grant, the J.P. Morgan banker, won't have me live in a fixer-upper. He wants me to live in something like that. This one isn't bad. Everything is completed in it, like the window seat with the storage underneath. The cabinetry everywhere, the trim everywhere. None of the woodwork is like aggravatingly bad. Coffered ceilings, fireplaces, built-in books, <coughs> uh, bookshelves. The kitchen's not that bad. It's it's not that bad. It's a little ridiculous, but it's it's not great. But um, the basement's finished. The deck is finished. The entire every square footage of this place is completely optimized. The closets are all done. The laundry room is done. So what you're paying for, you, you would pay a lot of money out of pocket to have all this. Look at that light fixture. Is that silly? That's silly. Um, that's a skateboard made out of light fixture. So uh, we're not going to let the kids pick out the, uh, the fucking finishes or anymore, honey. Hey, honey, can we, uh, can we get Brandon out of here? He's not picking any more fucking light fixes, all right? <laughs> he almost just cost us about 300000 because we look like ridiculous. We look like, you know what? Trying to sell our house for a million half dollars with a fucking skateboard light fixture. Can you put that away, please? Hey, honey, can you grab Brandon and get him out of here, please? Hey, hon, can you, can, can you go grab a little Brandon and get him out of here? Thank you. That's what, that's what's going on. But every square foot of this place is completely done. The landscaping's done. The wall is tiered. The siding is done. Again, not, and it does look like uh, it's going to hold up. If you don't want to do anything, that's the house for you. It's not that bad. It's not cheap, but that's how I judge my, uh, my McMansions. Uh, Usama Khan says, Nick, can you show us what, a, what to look for in a house uh, with mechanical photos? Also, you got to tell us about your Atlanta PCP story. Oh, yeah. I smoked PCP in Atlanta by accident one time. Oops. I was smoking weed one time yeah. in the back of a... I was with my rep behind a bar in Atlanta in um, not little five points. College Park? Yeah. I was at a bar in College Park, and I was in the back smoking weed. And this dude was like, I got Blue Dream, and I smoked a pipe. I was with these dudes. Yeah. And uh, he was like, oh, I was like, I love Blue Dream. He was like, oh, yeah, try this, man. I smoked it. And that, towards the end of the bowl, it, that wasn't weed. Yeah. There was no weed in that. And Did the I, guy look sketchy? No, he looked normal. Jesus. Yeah, he's he's just, just ripping PCP. Yeah, I guess so. It just, it just it tasted fun. And then I just got tweaked out real bad. And I was like, oh, oh. And then all my lacrosse practices came back into mind from uh, – I was like, I went to private school. Oh, get me out of here. And then right as that was happening, I heard like, you ain't in California anymore, white boy. And I had like yellow shorts on like these. Yeah. Like walking in like the like a hood area with like yellow shorts on. 
non-threatening. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Also, I took an Uber. We are flying over. Can now, we, PCP. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we hit these before they go away. Yeah. Uh, Luke F. Thank you for the 25 Australian. I uh, bought a new Renault Clio with my shiny wax, with the shiny wax and the blue, uh, with the real pop of color. But the cat, the cat, he jumped. He jumped and scratched the paint, so I hit him with the shovel. Uh, where do I put the cat now? You put the cat in the. You put the cat in the styrofoam cooler, and you dig a hole, and he. He go to he go to heaven now, because he scratched the car. It's a fifteen thousand dollar paint job, and he scratched it. What am I supposed to do? I snap, punk. I put in the thing. I put it in the ground, and I say the prayer, and then he go to heaven, on a light beam. Sorry. Poor kid. It's okay. <laughs> he uh, he in a better place now. He not getting he in the head with the shovel. We got Cat with the 25. I run a popular Discord bot, Nick. It logs everything. I found out it collected info on those shug on the Thug Shaker Central Discord server involved in the Ukraine dock leaks. How can I monetize this? Sell it to journos? Yep. Oh yeah. Nick, how do you usually handle your Discord? I usually dumps? when I ever do that, uh good question. <laughs> Great question. I'm glad you asked. I am always good. <laughs> I put them on eBay. I write on a little piece of paper. Files for sale from the Ukraine. And then I sell them on eBay. John Stupid, good to meet you. Good fellow hacker in <laughs> here. Right on, my man. Excellent. I have a good answer for that because I'm John Stupid. And people say, oh, he's probably going to give me a stupid answer. Uh, sometimes a stupid answer is the best answer. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We're caught up. All right, cool. 5391 th Lexi Street, Memphis, Tennessee. Dude, my eyes are fucked now. Really? Okay, here we go. All right, good. They almost got stuck like that, like my mom said. Uh, all right, we're, we're flying out here. 175 Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis is kind of a, a hot button. This is a good house. I like this house. I showed you an example of a residing earlier in the stream. This stupid thinking come out of the driver so you don't run it over 77 times while cocked. Um, bad, bad kitchen. We knew it. Swirl ceilings, trash. We're going to gut this whole thing. But the rest of the hardwoods, uh, that, oh, this is tile. That's wood look tile. Fuck it, we'll keep it. Um, railing's not bad, paint's not bad, bathrooms suck, we knew that, don't touch the bathrooms. House needs a kitchen, I like it. I like it. It hasn't sold in a while, I bet, let's see, did they buy it for 80? I hope they didn't. They bought it for 68. They listed it for 80. Ooh. Yeah, shit. Can you buy one for 68? This house wasn't, it. you could do this flip, just so you know. If you found one of these in bad shape for 70 or 125, you should look if they exist. If they don't, I don't think they're asking for that much. I think this is base base layer flipper here. They they want to make uh, thirty five to forty thousand. Sometimes you can let them. If it's an emerging market, you can let them make the money. Oh, it sold for one forty three, and now they want one seventy five price cut. So they bought it after the flip. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So it's already up off the market. Sold in twenty. Um. One ninety. One eighty. One seventy five. Uh. Offer one sixty six. Offer 166. Do what you can. Grab them. Do a, do a home inspection if, if, you're, if you're nervous. A, home a fancy home inspection, maybe cost you 500, 1,000 bucks. Have them rip the guy to shreds if you're nervous. If they're being dicks. If they're nice about it and they'll take a bush, talk to them. Uh, Spearman with the 25. Hey, Nick, I'm 24, just graduated, making 85K in finance. I have 5K in the bank and a good car. Uh, what should be my first priority going forward? Considering grad school, I uh, was accepted to a top 10 STEM program at the local uni. Thoughts? Hmm. First car? He says he has, uh, just generally. In, in, in general? Um, yeah. Graduated from, let me see that, hold on. Yeah, 85K in finance, have 5,000 in the bank and a good car. What should be my first priority? Um, considering grad school. No, don't do grad school. Stacking money, buddy. Stack your money. Living really, really cheap. <clears throat> figuring out the basics. Figuring out your coffee, your fitness, your health, your mainstays, your, your routines. Stacking your money for a little while. Developing an eye for things that are more expensive than you can currently afford. Um... That's what I would do. Getting yourself set up right. Seriously. Whoa, you're in the bathroom. Nice. You good? Uh, two more. Yeah. Graham. 
Welcome to Severe Beast, man. Thank you for joining. Erica H with the 20. Hi, guys. I love the stream. I just got a graphic design degree and I have worked in it for a year. I hate it and I want to mm. pivot into the trade slash interior design, etc. I'm short and I'm not strong and I'm a girl. Uh, any thought, advice on fields and jobs to look into? Um, if I was a girl that had a design degree, I would work for a, a construction company, like a large one, like a skyscraper builder. Um, I think that the, the, the work that you're going to have to be able to complete for them, uh, like, a, like a skyscraper finisher, like a, like a large, large, the biggest construction companies around you, I would go work for them. Um, typically, I'll just be straight. I don't know what this is going to come off as. Girls in the construction trade fucking love it. Like yeah. they love it. I've met like a handful of girls that work in high level construction jobs. Really? Guys are like, they're, they're tradesmen. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're excited to work with someone who's not fucking like, hey, what's going on, Ricky? What are you doing the weekend? Ah! Like, yeah. You know, it's nice. They're just like, seriously, they're, you know, most yeah. of the time, I'm like, oh, do they get you get your chops busted? Never. Yeah. That's never the case. It's 2023. That ain't happening. Honestly, I've sold a few cars to some like developers and like they work with developers that finish hotels. You can work in the lobbies and yeah. Yeah. I, I remember uh, she's uh, she's still this girl. Danielle, That's a really good, cool girl. Good recommendation. But she, the, you, 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 it's, it's rare bird. It's always like fellas, you know what I mean? So, so uh, fresh faces. I have a couple of friends, this girl, Sue, Susan, that used to work, come into the shop all the time. She worked for a company called site specific, super cool person, super cool. A uh, couple that used to come, but she killed it, killed it, had a great job. Working for like they, they people who build universities, schools. Um, when like the local private, you know, like Brown University is always buying buildings. They always have shit going on, so they're like remodeling cafeterias and whatnot. That's a great spot to be, honestly. Um, so, I think that I think I, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Girl boss, girl, go out there be a Nashville girl boss with a big old hat, a hat and a jacket. But uh, good, good luck, congratulations. I'm sorry you hate it, but I think. Uh, like I said, I, I I don't think that's a, I don't think that's bad 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 p bit of advice there. So we are flying out to twenty three forty Orchard Ave, Grand Junction, Colorado. It's pending nine hundred and twenty four squ square foot ranch. This thing is just overgrown. It's just really really overgrown. So um, I'm not worried about the inside. The inside's I don't even mind. I don't even like hate this. I, I just like leave it for a little while. I actually like the layout of the kitchen. This is obviously going to be completely blown out and organized when you get in there. You're going to make this all one room. I hope this is you pending. I right, keep the urinal, dude. Urinals are so cool. God, that's so cool. I want yeah. a urinal. Instead of instead of being a urinal, like I pissed myself last week. I don't know if you guys saw that on Tuesday night. I pissed myself. Wow, Rampart Lion statue. You really does that come with mouth. it? Oh. That's worth some money. Is this concrete? That's worth like four grand. Nice. Just this piece right here, just so you know. You could sell it on Facebook Marketplace. You need a crane to get it out of there, though. Um, and leave this. Just take the benches out. Drill holes and put put wooden benches here. And then put a uh, pea stone, pea gravel in there. Sell the lions. They're ridiculous. Sell the lions. Get uh, get three grand as soon as you buy the house. And then put pea stone everywhere. Rip a lot of these bushes out. Sell all these statues. They're, believe it or not, I've been at auctions. They sell for decent money, especially big ones. Nice seated lions. Sell those for uh, 500 bucks. Um, sell the the lot. You got the statue of fucking Moses. You got the that, that I'm telling you, that's big money. Those are uh, they sell those at this place called the Aardvark in Newport. They come out of the Newport mansions. They're like twenty five thousand dollars for those things. I'm not I'm not fucking around. Millionaires buy that stupid shit too. We see it on here. So well, yeah, well, if you were to sell it, what would you replace it with? Nothing. I'd rip it out. I'd put a patio out there so I can smoke weed at it. I'd cut these fucking trees down that are overgrown. There's too much overgrowth. I would start, you could literally prune these things way back though. You can take these trees down to like almost nothing, but uh, have a real arborist come in if that's you buying it. I like the house. I, I like it. I don't even want to fuck around. Couple chats. Uh, Camar Camarochi with the 25 Canadian. Hey Nick, I have a family friend in Ontario, Canada with a piece of property uh, that has an unused barn on it. I love your place in Rhode Island and was wondering how you found the conversion process. Any unforeseen issues? Uh, yeah, insulation, siding drafty. Um, you know, the framing of the barn doesn't lend to typical insulation. So I did, I did rock wool, rock sole. That's what I did for insulation. That's not cheap, that's a pain in the ass. Um, radiant heat in the floor is nice to do cladding the inside just paint the paint the barn what I, I, I spent too much time fucking around I should have just painted the barn right away P 
Pine is not worth showing off. That's my opinion. That's a, that's a hot take. Yeah. Pine is paintable. It's cheap wood. It's soft wood. So you paint it. Um, rent a paint sprayer. Get the whole place studioed out. White, black fixtures. It'll look great. It'll look great. Find some really gigantic windows on Facebook Marketplace. Cut a hole in the side of the barn. It'll be great. Uh, Travis Smith with the 25. Need more hillbilly screaming, Nick. Well, I ain't screaming because my teeth are rolling. Last time I screamed, I had to, my sharp tooth came out. I was embarrassed. I fell right, dink, hit my beer, and then everybody knew a tooth fell out. They said, what happened, Wayne? A tooth fall out again? I said, as a matter of fact, it did. Because I was screaming about the price of Bud Light. Israel DeLeon with the 30. Uh, to Erica H. This is the, the girl who was asking for a job. Oh, yeah. Look into retail design firms. A good way to pivot from graphics into interior design. Look at Blend, Thread, and DL English Design, all West Coast design firms. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Chat, see, chat's got the advice, too. Yes. It's crazy, man. See, a lot of look smart at that. people in here. See, look at that. Already getting taken care of. Bay, that wasn't a girl that sent that. <laughs> <laughs> They, that wasn't. Girls would be like, I don't want to. Interior design. Uh, interior design firms are uh, really, really, really hard to get jobs at. Uh, I don't personally. I don't think they get as much work as in around where I live. Interior design is, is a job for a lying rich lady that's picking out furniture for her rich friends. Yeah. That's what I've come across. The big ones are in New York, and and that's it. And they do hotels and they're contracted on New York. They get all the good jobs. But um, truthfully, honestly. Two more here. Matt Henriksen with the 25. Replace two broken windows and the new ones suck. What's it take to find some uh, that don't look terrible? What should I expect to pay? Uh, different tiers. I'm in above average garage, a 60s area, California in-law apartment. Get a Marvin window. Get a Marvin window. Their product's pretty good, man. Look up, you know, just find a Marvin dealer, a licensed Marvin dealer. Nice window. I, have, I put two cheap. I'll be straight with you. Those are Marvins right there. I got lucky. I found them. Thank God. Those are two, you know, d decent quality. I got very, very lucky in my build. I was literally like out of money in it. And I, I went to my local uh, lumber yard and yeah. I said, do you guys have any black windows? And they had four Marvin windows that actually worked perfectly. I couldn't really? I was so lucky. And they gave me a deal on them because they were left over on a house. Yeah. They were perfect. Then I bought two glass doors these these doors are shitty i kind of didn't have enough money to do the nice ones i know what a nice you know multi-point hitch lock door is they sit nice these doors fucking suck i have to replace them already they like they're just garbage garbage doors and windows are garbage doors and windows and let's say a bad door is 275 and a good door is like a grand that's 725 bucks you will forget about so fucking fast I promise. A good door might be 1200 bucks though. <laughs> but bad doors are bad doors. And I learned the hard way. I, I, I went against just because I didn't have the wallet for it. I had to cheap out. It happens. Ladies and gentlemen, last one before we hit this next house. William Lennard. Thank you for the 25. Uh, Nick, the New Hampshire market has been brutal. Too many mass holes making everything crazy. Hopefully prices will cool down soon. Thoughts? I don't think it's going to cool down, man. I'm a Rhode Islander that wants to get to New Hampshire and Maine real bad. Yeah. All my friends that sold all their multifamilies, are wanted. they bought houses in New Hampshire. They bought in North Conway. We are coming up there in fucking wagons, my man. I'm Invading. telling you. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're getting it here. We're getting all the Bostonians here. So we're, going, we're coming to the, the woods. Trust me. It ain't going anywhere. That's, that's our, like... That it's gonna be like our fucking good shot at uh, the Pacific Northwest, but we're gonna do it right this time. Um, Maine, New Hampshire, it's all good. You guys all have your benefits either. New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont all have their little their little like quirky benefits or uh, lifestyle changes. We're at fifteen nine oh six Quill Drive in Houston. Tooth is is this is this your house? You have to own this house if it's not. I like the house. I don't want to. Is it for sale? No, you you bought it right. Okay, good. You bought it right. Two hundred grand. Love it. I'm gonna guess you need to know what the hell to do next. It's got a good layout. This floor sucks. Rip this floor out. Make this whole thing continuous right here. You might want to look into putting a beam across here and opening this up, bringing the kitchen out to here doing that making the floor you got a little bit of money to spend not a big deal like the walk out and the french doors yeah the slate floor is not working for this house this soffit looks like ass this was uh two panels you might want to uh reconfigure this let's take take this part of the kitchen and then put it on the same wall and then do an island here all right even an island with an overhead 
to hide the beam like just run it I would run this like a boom a beam here bust this these uppers down come through the wall there's probably going to be some HVAC behind the wall that you're going to have to reroute just a heads up um, always put the HV they always 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 put the fucking HVAC in that wall in this house so I'll just I'll give you a heads up the bedrooms are fine there's nothing you can do with them the fans are fine blah 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 it's on a slab kitchens and kitchens are good enough don't even mess with them just the flooring they put in is absolute dog shit I hate it so much I couldn't live with it so you have a kitchen job to do the patio is really nice in the back um, I would do an extended patio out extended out to here I don't know what that hitching post bench is old school concrete city bus but I don't mind I don't hate that I like that um, I would take this stupid bed out and make the grass all one this bed doesn't make any sense this doesn't make any sense either rip it out and get the lawn perfectly have your trees lollipopped and ballooned nicely uh, call an arborist and get your tree perfect shape it can happen please do it maybe a new front door painted brick uh, I don't know maybe painted brick maybe better color palette um, keep the brick color and do a color called Marsala it was the Pantone of the year that's what I would go with Look up Amber Interiors. She does a great job at houses that look like this. You can take some of her style and spell and put it into this house. Good luck. I like it. For free? With the 25 Australian says. Hey, Jed Nick, I was walking, uh... I was walking around and saw your wife doing overhead keg throws. Uh, she saw me watching and threw a softball at my chest and threatened to Irish whip me into the pond. Is this behavior normal? It's very normal. She always does overhead keg throws. Every morning she wakes up. She she untapes the bottle of Jack Daniels off her hand from the yeah. night before. Heads out to the yard and does a... It's not even high though. She only throws it like four feet over the... It's really she's low. She's hung over. She's hung over and she's... <laughs> and she's, she always screams because I'll be like, Hey, Jess, what are you doing? She's like, get back to bed! I'm going to be up in a second! And you know what I want! Again, and I'm like, oh, oh. So she toss. She always does the keg toss throw. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> it's not the look. It's not the thought that I wanted. It wasn't like this when we, we first met. This is all new. She she started watching repeats of The World's Strongest Man, and now she wants to be like Magnus Samuelson. Bird talks eleven with the twenty five. Insulation in a barn, uh, spray closed cell at two inches in the walls, five and a half inches open cell foam in the roof deck. It's expensive, but you don't have to deal with it again. Rock wool is great, but it's difficult to work with, uh, but doable for DIY. It's doable for DIY. I don't think it's that hard to work with, truth be told. That closed cell price I got was so fucking insane, I couldn't believe it. I almost dry heaved when I got my closed cell prices. How much higher than it was a lot. what it you was thought like, it was? Yeah, gonna it be. was like, uh, I think I was getting quotes of like, I mean, this is going to a time when I didn't have two nickels to rub together either. Yeah. I really wasn't thinking about it. but And I couldn't do it myself. And it was like, I'm three weeks out, and it's like 11 grand or something. I was like, yeah. <sighs> no. And I was finding closeout. And I was finding all this closeout bulk stuff in, in the middle of Massachusetts. So I was finding Roxel closeout. So I was like beating the price by like fucking 60%. And then I was DIYing it. That's why I did it. But yeah, in a perfect world, we'd all do closed cell spray foam insulation. Um, yeah. No, I know. I just, the, the, the quotes are fucking insane man it was so I, I looked into renting the machine i just thought i was just gonna cover my whole house in goo so i, I backed off um but yeah no in a perfect world we'd all do that that's the spray foam insulation that you see that expands perfectly and they saw cut it and get it all perfect um it's nice don't get me wrong it's just uh, going forward hell yeah yeah i think i'm there i think i'm out of the uh, the poverty zone for at least a couple of weeks until my my, my tax uh, returns come in that's a big week for me i'm gonna go ahead and get pick up 23 2400 that's going to go ahead and last me for the rest of the year. Um, but we're in 739 Vermont Ave, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, 319. I've seen some stuff in Pittsburgh that is so fucking good. This house it really isn't making me like... If I was a small person... Yeah. This house is small. It has low ceilings. It's nice. It's not a bad house. And it's really well done. They did windows... It's it's a good live. It's got a fireplace. I love the walk out to the deck. I love the original archways. The kitchens, just just so you know, the kitchens. Re, this is repainted and Carrera. This is actually the perfect way to flip this house. They even painted the brick paneling behind. Good for you, um, old rug again. Someone smart. They kept the original stuff. It's a good flip. It's a very good flip. Um, but it is a flip. And corner lot with rear entry 
If you really like it and you don't want to do anything, go for it. I like the house. I'd like to see you buy something a little bit nicer for that kind of money. I've seen some wild shit for 300 grand in Pennsylvania. If the house fits you well, it is a nice house. I will, I will vouch for the house. Um, but I don't like the, uh, what do they buy it for? No, okay, so it's first time to market. So they had a, a good company come in and update it. But if the neighborhood's nice and you like it, you can probably find something for like 200 or 250, but if it's completely done and you don't want to touch anything, ones. yeah, it's totally a valid house. I think you could sharpen your eyeballs a little bit first and then look at a few houses. Very good place to look for houses. Probably the most exciting house hunt in the country is Pittsburgh old houses. For me anyway. I would love to be fucking looking for a house on Pittsburgh. I would love your hunt, my friend. I'm very jealous. Ashton's tired with the 25. Yo, Nick, any advice on finding which state to move to? I'm waiting for my enlistment to end in two years, then start an electrician apprenticeship uh, from shithole Louisiana and won't go back. Jet, quit vaping. Much love from Japan. Hell yeah, dude. Um, I don't know. The states I like are, uh, I mean, I'll be straight with you. I like uh, upstate New York, Pennsylvania, uh, Rust Belt stuff, which is Pittsburgh, Buffalo, um, New Hampshire, Maine. You can get some stuff. Maine is not all nice. Maine's real rough. Western Massachusetts is nice. Eastern Connecticut. Um, there's parts of Virginia that are okay. Coastal Carolina. Um, I think you're going to be okay in coastal Carolina or the Carolinas. Obviously, uh, Dallas, Texas um, is okay for me. Um, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, uh, St. Louis, fringy um, uh, parts of Memphis are probably pretty good right now. Suburbs of Chicago are probably okay. Michigan, stuff in Michigan, real good stuff out there. As far as a house, if you want a crazy house, stay in the Northeast. Michigan, around the hook, up to Buffalo, Pittsburgh, etc., Central PA. It depends on what you want. Um, got a couple more chats here, but could we, uh, for anybody just joining in like the last hour, could mm -hmm. we uh, remind them that the merch, yes, the stream merch is finally You're here, guys. You're just getting here. We have uh, I've been waiting for it. I, I apologize it took so long. I'm gonna, I even found the way to change the next picture. That was good. Had a little bit of a, uh, one of my eyeballs fell out when I was streaming so hard because my, uh, my tech, my, uh, my IT guy, Pernat mm -hmm. was screaming at me. And he's like, show, when he screams so please show them the other picture. Nick, I, I spent all day doing it. Can you please put it on the other picture, please? When he starts screaming loud and fast, it's hard to understand what he's saying. Yeah, he, but he's cool. Like, he's cool with me, and I yeah. appreciate all the work he does. So, But, uh, yeah, it's here. Uh, Pre-order. So, again, if you want to order it, uh, just don't order. Do this T-shirt order separate, and then you can buy the other stuff. I just don't want you to think it's all coming. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, this will be a separate line item, so if you want to order uh, a candle or a rug or something like that or a poster, just uh, just factor that in. Just keep that in mind, all right? But uh, we appreciate it. Miles McGrady did the artwork. Came out awesome. Love it. It's uh, it, you get to work with that construction company from the future. It's the Total Recall Home Builders. That's what that's what that's the Total Recall Home Builder chic is what I'm going for. And uh, yeah, you wear that at Brimfield. I think yeah, they're going to give you 50% off at Brimfield every tent. That's what they said. And, and that's a guarantee from me, Wayne. They just have to punch a hole in the shirt. You have like to punch a, a hole in the vendor. <laughs> uh, uh, a couple more chats here. Rob W. giving us an address. What do we do? Uh, you know what, Rob? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow it. I'm in a good mood tonight. I oh, wasn't, yeah. but now I am. It's all good, buddy. This is... This is a place of forgiveness. I don't want a principal yell, yelling at you and making you mad. This is a place you hook it up. Hey, money talks and bullshit walks. That's what I say. You know what I mean? And money talks and the bullshit walk. You get the bullshit out of here. But uh, thank you. Rob, thank you, man. Uh, you are queued up. Just be patient. You will be at last of the night, man. Uh, Andros Basilius with the 25. New Hampshire gang gang. Wish I could afford a house south of Concord uh, because I work in Merrimack. But nothing is sub 300k. Rip to my dreams. Yeah. Make a little more money and buy a house for 300k. Dig in. Get a second gig. Bartend. Get a side hustle. Make a little extra money. Get married. Find you a hell's angel that'll kick your ass like I did. Big mistake. She makes 140,000 a year though. As a line electrician. 
<laughs> she's a lineman. Yeah, she's got hands like fucking vice grips. She's got a jaw like a... Nikki, I got shocked again at work today. Can you believe it? I'm like, my, my being married, it's, it's like hanging out with Gary Busey every day. <laughs> yeah. Rage Against the Anal Beads with the 25. I can't wait to watch this on the 3 a.m. ride home. Don't worry. I always keep my good glass eye on the road. That's good. You should have a, a you should have a bomb in your glass eye like the guy from Last Action Hero. That was always cool. You guys remember that? The guy had the bomb in his eye. It was so cool. And lastly, just a one username with the 70 Canadian. Thank you, bro. That's very generous. Thank you for the support. He says, hey, Jen, Nick, I went through a bad breakup and ended up spending over $5,000 on strippers and hookers in the spans of two months. Uh, considered moving out of my parents' place, so I just afford... So I afford... Couldn't afford to waste that amount of money. Any advice for me? Stop going to strip clubs. The shit, man. Strip clubs are hell. <clears throat> They're for suckers, man. I fucking hate strip clubs, dude. I never liked them. I can't stand them. I lived with strippers. I had two strippers living in my multi family. I thought it was cool for like one week. Yeah. And it bit me in the ass. So it's just, I don't, it's so fucking stupid. I hate them. Please stay out of casino. Gambling and strip clubs are like, there's just, I have, no, I, I can't even have mercy. It's just straight yeah. up knock it off. Knock it off. It's like hell on earth. I used to like hear the way they consider shit. It is like the seediest path of life. I've ever fucking seen. Yeah. I collect rent checks at like 22 years old from 65-year-old professors from New Hampshire. Lots of money, like 2800 fucking laid on rent three months in a row. I'm going to like fucking meet up with a fucking creep. It was like, ugh, just gross. Just, yeah. Just nasty shit, man. You don't want to be around that. It's okay that you've gone through it. It's good that you fucking see the... the just got to come out the other side of that one. Uh, there's no upside to that. They don't like you. They don't want to be there, and you don't want that life even if they did. You're not Captain Save a Ho. You don't need to be, dude. They feel like they're at Ch they're working at Chipotle. Yeah, when bro. they're on the yeah, pole. Yeah, you are. You are. Like, I get yeah, off? You're you're carne asada, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, you're yeah. yeah. You're not even, dude. You're you're po you're a uh, spicy chicken. Yeah, you're chicken tinga. <laughs> That's been on the counter yeah, all day. All day, dude. That's what you are to them. <laughs> yeah, they throw you out at the end of the night. Um, yeah, this is nice. Uh, this house is really nice, nicely done. Uh, 805 Twin Mountain Lake, Talking Rock, Georgia. I love the dock in the back. It's got a nice Airbnb ability to it. Um, Runt out paddle boards. I like the finished lower level. Um, I, I hope it's not in a floodplain. But other than that, I like the house. Uh, this is all stupid landscaping that you could do. This is all really, you need a professional with a mini excavator. Mini excavator is your best friend. You might, you might want to make friends with one because they can make this whole thing. Let's get this whole thing. The key with a hill is to try to get as many big platforms as you can. For any of you doing a hillside landscape like this, the key is to get as many flat planes as you can and not have like little squares everywhere. That's the yeah. janky way to do it. The, the expensive way to do it is to, to build up, get some big, some sandy fill and some fill and raise up some areas and support. So you build retaining walls and support. You can do boulders and stuff, but your best friend is gonna be an excavator on this property. Um, if you do buy it, I do like it. Gets a thumbs up from me, 100%. Hell yeah. West 6th Street, Juno. Juno, Alaska. Never seen a house in Alaska that I like. 1.299 million, wow. No way. It's a California Victorian in Alaska, built in 1903, wow. Is this hmm. your first? Hmm. This is a nice area of Alaska, I can tell by this $4 million house on the side of it. This Queen Anne Victorian is nice. Not nice. <laughs> this is ugly as shit. <laughs> wow. That's what happens when you have no materials around. God, these materials are trash. The tin ceiling looks like ass. Tin. This 12 by 12 marble is ass. The woodwork is nice. This is, this is new. That medallion they sell at Home Depot. This isn't done properly. That's not done properly. This was done nice. This is done good enough, but not, not to. Oh, it's got a. Uh, ooh, a dumb waiter. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in a while. That's a dumb waiter. They used to put food in those back in the day. Servants' quarters. It's a laundry. They use it as a laundry chute now. I like the uh, portioned off bathrooms. Is that the lower level? Then you walk up to the second level. Again, the twelve by twelve marble tile. Oh god, the finishes in this are disgusting. This needs paint. It's fine. I'm not gonna flip out. I would paint all the. This is one of the few houses where I would. Well, the ribbon inlays in the floors. Very nice. 
pocket doors. Nice. Uh, was that original? Mm, that's nice. I like that. I like that tile. That tile's nice. The floor is garbage. The wall tile's nice, though. Um, this is just a big, giant wallpaper. This is like modern wallpaper on the ceiling. It's it's just too busy, but I'm not going to let that distract me. I'm not going to let that turn me off the house completely. I like that tile floor. Uh, I like the flooring. The wallpaper can just be steamed off. I hate it. It's all period correct and done right, but it's not my style. Kind of like ruined the house for me. It's just too busy. Um, I like the all tile bathroom here. It's a good use of some Home Depot tile. It's a good way to do Home Depot tile the whole thing. Not bad. Four by four tiles, as cheap as you can get. Done by a proper tile guy. Not not a bad way to get out. Um, nicely lit closets. Concrete paver patio. That's ass. Wow! Look at the heat. Wow! Look at that. Holy crap! You want a nice mechanical? You want a Victorian where they show the mechanical? There you go. Is that asbestos wrapped pipes? Look at this. Wow. Really nice. Is that radiant? Look at the manifold on this thing. Son of a... Wow! Look at the boilers on this thing. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's a lot of plumbing. They never, ever, ever, ever show the mechanical on a, on a Victorian, and they did on this one. Very, very cool. You want to look at, like, nice nice mechanical room? Victorians have, like, big, giant control centers. Um, it's like a, that's like the bottom of a, a boat. Navy yeah, boat. Yeah, it looks like yeah. a boat. Yeah, it looks like a, like a cruise ship. Um, wow. Look at that. Really, really good plumber here. Oh, it's a main. Comes in. Shoots off. Goes in through here. What the fuck, the fuck is this? Oh, this is like... I could stare at this for an hour. Uh, really good. Really, really good. A uh, million two. Let me just see something. Wow. Yeah, it's a shame there's some like silly things on it. Well, I would like to know what they bought it for because they spent some money on that thing. Um, I don't think they're that crazy. I like the house. It's not that crazy. First uh, ever Alaska? Yeah, it's okay. I'll take it. Okay. It looks like the, the, the area comps it out. Um, I don't think they're being that crazy. I don't like it. It needs a lot of plaster work. Um, I would hire an, o, an OG plaster guy to come in and fix all that. Um, probably just take off all that silly-ass paper. But um, I always dreamed about doing a Victorian. Um, I think I could. I think I could smash one. It would be cool, like Kat Von D's. Get in there for a sec. Just kidding. It wouldn't. It'd be cooler than that. Um, but I like it. I don't like the painted lady paint job in it. Uh, da, da, da. Mm. Yeah. Um. Oh, we got a line cutter, Nick. Oh dang. Merc dang. XZ with the two hundred. Holy shit! Heard you were in a good mood. Please accept my you late submission. You could have went to Mar-a-Lago for another thousand dollars a night, but you went here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, line cutter. I'll you cut the line two hundred. Yeah, you. I'm, hey, like, we'll do a lot. We'll hey, do late submissions. I'm a broke bouncer. <laughs> I'm a broke bouncer. What'd you do? All right. Thoughts if it was painted white and doors and beams black. Rip, rip out fireplace mantles, kitchen hood, and redo the bathrooms. Forty three oh nine, Island Ave. Austin. All right. I got to hit one before yep. it goes away. T with the 25. Charles on stream. When? Jet. Mission critical. PGL requ request nuclear. Code red. Alert. Alert. PGL request. Thermonuclear. It will end the world now. System meltdown. Critical condition. No PGL. Very bad news. PGL now. Guys, we'll get on it right away. Man. We will. I'll speak to Sam. We'll get PGL. We'll get it. We'll get on it. I think it's at most 24 hours away. Okay? Promise. Doors and beams. Doors and beams black. Um, doors and beams black. Yeah, because the... Four, is this 4307? Yeah, 43, okay. 43. Dude, this house is fucking crazy. This is your fucking house, bro? Jesus Christ. Um, 
Yeah, dude, this house is fucking fat. I don't even know where the fuck this is. Uh, Who told you to buy Bitcoin? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it needs white, man. It needs white paint. This this like stucco shit looks too stu too dated. Your neighbor's house looked like asshole. You, you know what they look like. Um, yeah, on this house, fuck it. It was built in when was it built? It was built in '95. Yeah, go go do that. Do the white black thing. I think it'll sell for more money. Um, look up. It's not necessarily white and black either. You don't have to do white and black. You should look up, uh, honestly, look up Amber Interiors, man, right now. She fucking nails houses like this. California, really good southeast, southwestern style homes. Um, you're going to rip out the fireplace mantles. I don't think they're that bad. Because um, you're going to have a tough time. Yeah, you're gonna have a tough time. You're gonna have to do them all at once. But you, you got seven million bucks. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Um, yeah, I would, uh, I would do a lot of like, I think they call it lime, lime washing, Venetian plaster finishes and lime washing, um, natural stone, like good marbles. Um, this, this Unilock driveway and sandstone's not helping anybody. So you're gonna have to go with like a an off white, like a tinted white, bright but still. You're going to have to stay in the beige. You're going to have to live in the beige family. you got a Spanish style. I would look up modern modern homes with Spanish style. But you have black framed windows, so the black doors wouldn't look bad. This white can be brighter. And I think would look a little better. I think your neighbors are already doing it. Um, which is fine. Which is good. But uh, please check out Amber Interior. She'd have a better way to do this on some of these light fixtures and whatnot. Um... That's the best thing I can point to, point you to, and then the marble refinishing, the uh, the mantle refinishing on this thing. I like the uh, the the chevron or the herringbone and the in in the inside. You you don't like the like this all this fucking like Italianate style crap. Um, you can probably have a marble guy come make you something a little more simpler, um, and custom make you marbles marble mantles that are a little bit more agreeable my in-laws just had one made it took fucking forever but they basically come it comes in like this piece comes in one two three four five six on top seven eight nine ten eleven like this is like 15 pieces of this mantle so you're gonna go through that again um yeah i would uniform it up if you liked it i like i like fireplaces i wouldn't i wouldn't rip them out so um and kitchen hood you redo yeah same thing i would just find a style you like and then you know it's not that crazy though. You kind of already have it, but you want to spend money. I get it. You just, you just, you want to change the colors. You want to personalize it. Go for it. I think it'll look good. Um, I like the um, Japanese burnt finished with the oil, like the oil carbonate carbonization, like the. You guys know what I'm talking about. Sorry. Like this, like this shit, but that doesn't really fit. That doesn't fit that house. Hmm. Walnut. It would take a lot, bro. I got, that's a loaded question, man. I appreciate the fucking money. Your big, your big boss bucks. I have to sit there with you and smoke weed and look at it. You're in Austin. You got a lot of tan. It's not an easy hurl. I, I take that job. I take that task pretty seriously. Um, I don't think it'll be bad with the, with the darker. I think I would just pick a cool black and a cool white. And then a cool finish, you know, you could probably run, um, again, that, that, that designer that I'm talking about would probably, because you got to stay a little, you got to stay a little correct. The house does have that, you know, 30s Southwest style home. So you have to stay inside a vein there. You can't go full nuts. Again, Amber Interiors is your go-to on that one, brother. I promise. If I'm wrong, kick me right in the fucking balls. I'll give you your 200 back. Got to speed run these. They're, yeah. out of, oh, they're yeah. about to all yeah. go away. Jake Brock with the 20. Hey, Nick, I'm also just waiting for my enlistment to end and uh, thinking about going back home to the OKC area. What are your opinions on Barton Dominiums? Missed the submission window, but I'll submit mine sometime later. God bless. Again, the uh, Barton Dominium, uh, I think people like talking about them a lot more than I thought about. Uh, I just imagine it as... Uh, as... Uh, oh, this house is fat. Um... It's like if a, if a girl did a fucking shoe shoe dominium, sleeping next to your four wheeler is fucking insane. Um, barn dominiums are all right. I think you can just stick frame a cool, wide open floor plan barn. Yeah. Better. I think you could do a like a ninety by forty barn stick framed. That would be just as cool. And have it have a layout like a car a toy hauler trailer. 
And a toy hauler trailer is just basically a camper where the back opens up and you can put a, a car or four wheelers back there. So you can have the party in the back, business in the front, party in the back, like a mullet. A long skinny barn might be better than a barn aluminium, and you can do cooler things with it, but I don't think a barn aluminium as a whole is gonna trade much more than the building costs, because think about who you're selling a barn aluminium to. You're selling a barn aluminium to an asshole who knows how to build it. So any profit that you wanna make is gonna be scrutinized, as opposed to if you build something cool and one-off that has a barn aluminium, you'll get an upscale and a better scale clientele that didn't realize they wanted a studio space in their house. And I wouldn't call it barn aluminium, I would kind of stay away from that. You know. Degenerate Drifter with the 25 Canadian. Nick, I need help. My friends and I are trying to hit on cougars, but we can't tell who would be good sugar mamas. Is there any way we can tell easily by their car or clothes? WikiHow and Etsy spells are not cutting it for me anymore. Yeah, whichever ones grab your face when they kiss you. Like pinch your... No, pole. like this, like on your neck. Oh, okay. Yeah, when MILFs are really, you know, when they're really into it, you know, MILFs just molesting me my whole life. <laughs> just trying to be a guy out there. That yeah. Just, that's just into 80-year-old women, and they're all like grabbing you. I don't know whether they're like, help me, I'm horny you know i'm like shut up where's the jewelry box no uh <laughs> this yeah. ain't charity yeah this ain't a goddamn charity my hips are killing me yours must be destroyed uh we got um, the fresh prince of belgrade with the 20 hey jet i see you are a practitioner of the dark arts let me show you uh, if you would be interested in coming on my show let's talk glass and optics love what you guys do um man i i wish but i'm so slammed busy bro <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I could do 30 minutes. But, Jet's um, the busiest guy on the planet. And I, honestly, you would discover that I'm, I'm just a faker, man. I'll, I just know <laughs> what EOTechs are. I, I know Leopold sites because I played Tarkov just like everyone else what who the listens fuck to your show. What the fuck are they talking about? Real men fight with fists. That's what my wife said. She's like, what are you guys talking about guns for? What are you, a pussy? You need a gun? Fight me with your fucking hands like a man. And then I deck her, and she's like, is yeah. that all you got, chicken shit? <laughs> oh, Nancy wants to fight. And then she gives me a fucking colossal tree-hanging wedgie. Um, <laughs> she fights you with wedgies and swirlies. What are you going to do with that gun besides make me mad? And then she takes, takes it from my hand. I'm like, I'm sick and tired of this. And then she takes me, the gun from me and fucks me with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, uh, ha, <laughs> got you! Couple more here. Jeremy with the 25. I sold a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT I minted and used the money to buy a house. I miscalculated how much I owe in capital gains tax. Turns out I owe six figures I don't have. What do I do? Damn, early Board Ape Minter. What Cheap. ape did you have, bro? Be a tax cheat, dude. I mean, can you, can you just pay monthly? Evade. Tell me you can pay a dollar a month. Tell me you love gambling and heroin. I love gambling. I love heroin. What do we do? I want to pay you back. I really want to pay you back, Mr. Taxman. It's just, here's my deal. I love gambling and heroin, and I can't stop. Right now, I'm on a couch on the side of a road. What do you expect me to pay? I can pay a dollar a month. Just hand, I, can you really just handle tax payments like it's a, like it's a Barclays uh, credit card? I, don't, I think they're getting crazier now. They're yeah. like roughing you up. They're yeah. like, shut up, lying sack of shit. I'm in your driveway. <laughs> You're drinking a lemonade right now, Arnold Palmer. Come outside and talk to me then. Yeah, why don't you tell me how you walk outside of a mansion? You're like, oh, man. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. One last one. Goose Pimples with the 25 Australian. <coughs> Damn, cough and fart at the same time. Um, 20, uh, hi, perfect guys. Great stream. Hope Sam enjoyed watching ice hockey. He did. What was that? Well, Sam is currently at Creator Clash following iDubs around. He's dressed in drag and iDubs hasn't recognized him yet. He's no. going as Samantha. No way. It's happening. Oh, that's great. He oh, posted a picture great. on Twitter. That's great. Um, but uh, he's he's texting the group chat with updates. Oh, he's 5'8". He'll blend in. He's, cl he's closing in. That's what he said. He's getting closer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are scanning through this house. 10, 7, 11, straight lane. 10 bed, 20 bath. When was this built? 36,000 square feet, built in 03. Mm. I mean, it's a pretty princess house. Everybody knows that. It looks like the house from Richie Rich, literally. It's got entry gates. It's got... I, I, it's, just like, it's just like... It's just too much. 
like the faux painting, the uh, the faux or those onyx, are those onyx on the ceilings, like it's like, pick the most expensive, pick the most expensive, like, is that embossed leather in the wall panels? That's that might be leather wall panels. I've seen that happen. I've seen. I did a house like this for an attorney one time. He spent like five or eight million building a smaller version of this house. Very, very ornate like this. Custom painted furniture, brand new furniture, all custom painted. Um, huge wine cellars. The mechanical room was out of control. Like, this is like, it's, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's, it's just over the top. There's the finishes are just, there's so much. It's like stuff on stuff on stuff on stuff. I didn't even see this backyard. Look at this fucking backyard, dude. It looks like the uh, temples of the... what Temples of the... Dude. You got a water slide, for Christ's sakes. Is that a tiki water tower? Yep. Sure is. I've always wanted Legends one of Legends of the Hidden Temple. All-star team... This is Carl Malone's house. Team Malone. Oh, my God. NBA players have the worst houses. These guys just go for it. NBA players make so much goddamn money. I mean, 03, not a, not a single dollar spared. Just... Ugh, just yuck. Just yuck. It's almost there, always. It's all almost there. But not... Not me. Not my style. Tennis courts. This thing looks like a fucking Aruba resort. Imagine living in an, like an Aruba resort. Like the, the, the monthly nut on this place is like whatever a Six Flags costs to run, this costs to run. Yeah. Like the bills on, like I bet you it's got a $25,000 a month water bill or something. Like something out of control. Um, on top of the price tag, you, you got to consider like how much is it costing to run this entire yeah. operation? Even a rich guy would shudder a little bit. Yeah. Like, whoa, 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 what'd you say there? Um, yeah, I, I hate it. I gotta, I gotta be straight with you. I hate it. This is the Ricky Bobby mansion. Is tonight all mansions? Apparently it's all mansions tonight. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to beg for likes. Oh, we gotta get the like button. Guys. My daughter was in the window saying, Daddy, did they hit the like button? We got 30. Daddy, did they hit the like button? 3,100 people watching. We got one and some change for some likes. Come on. This is some chump change shit, guys. It's we, free. It's a free buy. You hit that thumbs up and you say, you know what? This is good. I like this. This is fun. Ain't good for me. <laughs> That's it. I don't know. Do one more until you say, I, li I like the button. <laughs> you don't do I don't do it. I want, I'm not mad. 1,000 likes. I need to get a lot more like. Not enough. That one was... That no, one was... no. <laughs> yet. Yeah, you're letting them off the hook easy. Yet. You got it doing it. It's a free button. I look for Carl Malone house. He don't, he not a good guy. Carl Malone, bad guy. He no good. You know, you, you look him up. He no good. Carl Malone is a loser. Carl Malone can suck, suck my ball. Hey, fuck you, Carl Malone. Your house smells and you're stupid. And a waste of money. And now the people here know that. But they gotta hit the like button. Right now you press it, the thumbs up, mm -hmm. and then the number go higher. What happens when they click the, the button? Is it, does it- The food, it goes in, my daughter belly fill up from food. It has pumpkin pie filling. That sounds good. It's, it should get a banana baby food from yeah. Garbar. Okay, here deliver. And make sure she healthy and nice sleeping. I shut in the door because I don't want to mop. Thank you guys for clicking that free button, man. We need that, okay? Bennett K with the 50. Very generous, Bennett. Thank you. Everybody who uh, donated tonight, thank you guys, for real. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. He says, best stream of all time. I cannot wait to get out of the cesspool of Brooklyn and buy a house in the middle of nowhere so I can build my own sound studio in the backyard and piss my pants in peace. Nick, what are your thoughts on the USM hauler system? What's that? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Ah. I'd like to find it used. It's all right. 
You're an audiophile though, dude. We're different people. I don't even I don't I own I don't even own a record. I own one record. My friend from a band called Hollowed. Yeah. He I have one record, it's his. You just play it over and over again. And I just play it over and over again. Um no, nice system. Uh, I'd like to find it used. I think you can find it used. Looks like something you can stalk Facebook Marketplace in Brooklyn. Get a storage unit in Brooklyn. There are a lot of good antiques around the way of Brooklyn. I would I would be a trash picker in Brooklyn if I lived there. If I ever go see Nick Mullen or, or Shane again, I'm gonna be I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay the night and just uh, rent a U-Haul and trash pick. Oh cool. Great. Great. Oh, that's cool. A bunch of church things. All of this stuff can be bought for a hundred dollars. I'm glad you you dedicated a whole room to make a church. With old I'm glad you did that. This stuff, I hate when I see new houses and, and like bad take old, old antique furniture, like the big gauche stuff. I'm gauche man. I'm gauche. Very gauche. I'm gauche. I, I hate this house. They have a harp. Nice harp. Fucking asshole. Like this, this, this medallion, the ceiling medallion's bad. All this is bad. Gilding, gilding, pa gilded paint on the one, one and a quarter inch OG round. What do they call it? OG. Great, great, real great job on the on the gilded paint. That's what that's what a, a two thousand three McMansion needs. Yeah, cool. You should have put a bigger dining room table in this room. It would have looked better. Nice. Hey, great job on the stonework right here on the corner. You guys are real. You guys are really, really good. That was a really proper execution of that stick on veneer stone. Really, really great job. I'm glad you ran out of money on the back of your bar. Um, Everything sucks. Chandeliers over your pool table. Whack. Corny. Is that a custom painted? Oh no, I like that. I like that piece. A writing desk. And then this uh, unbelievably bad patio on the back of this, on the side of this house. Unbelievably bad ideas here. Um, like this stuff, this like pavers everywhere with crushed stone. That's not a real thing. This is trash. Like in the landscaping world, we laugh our asses off at this. This is like stupid homeowner shit at a million change house. We hate that. We laugh so hard. <laughs> That's how we laugh. Landscapers, they all laugh the same way. Um, but yeah, no. Um, terrible house. Ricky Bobby Mansion. Not good. Cheap furniture. Bad old furniture inside a house. Poorly executed. What can I say? Pool's nice though. We got a couple chats, man. Thank you guys. Zach West with the generous five. Thank you, bro. Uh, Lorenzo Roselli, uh, Lorenzo, I don't think I can read that aloud, but I'll show Nick on my screen. Might be a bit too graphic, my friend. Ah. Lever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds too complicated, yeah. man. Start over. Yeah, start over, dog. <laughs> activate your Bumble account. Zipster90, welcome Hey, Lorenzo, to activate your Bumble account. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Zipster90, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank, you for, uh, thank you for joining Severe Beast, man. Uh, guys, our goal is almost met. We are almost there. Almost severe. So close to being there. Thank you guys for joining. Any new members, uh, go to on the channel, on our channel right here. You click the little Sam and Nick icon. Go over to the membership tab. You can see the full archive that is only available for Severe Beast members. Maybe we're not live, you got some hours to burn, you're in the wood shop, you know, you just want something to listen to. You wanna look over every 10 minutes and you wanna laugh. Hey, that's what we're here for. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, last one before we get into it, Brad Dolomew with the 25, thank you for the support. Yo, you guys, <clears throat> excuse Yo. me. You guys got a good model live streaming, then paywalling it. Full paywall sucks. Uh, to the free friends out there, become a Severe Beast or gum roader. Guys, you're just helping me shill. Thank you. Uh, from experience, the Gumroad has so much back content. And yes, an extension of my extended shilling is in the top right corner, mde.tv. Uh, look, man, we, you and Sam have made dozens and dozens of sketches uh, since the end of the first season of World Peace. We're starting the second one. Yes. Um, guys, they, they, didn't just, there. they didn't just stop making videos, no. okay? There's, there's like really good long form comedy sketches uh, you know, full series. Sam did, a, you guys like cars. Sam did a full, uh, like car show, Ecstasy of Car, uh, where, you know, it's Sam's take on like top gear. Uh, there's cool stuff in there. So, uh, the streams also get uploaded to MD.TV, but it takes us a little while longer. Um, 
Uh, we upload them in batches. If you want it quick, you join Severe Beast. Right, can I put an offer on your $3 million house? <laughs> But that's it, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, supporting us from every vector, man. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Lastly, uh, we have the generosity of Goo B showing itself, giving out five memberships. Thank you, man. And Dead End Josh joining Severe Beast. Awesome, man. Thank you. <laughs> I, used to have a, I used to have a buddy, this kid, Pete Labuti. We used to smoke weed. Then he'd smoke bowls until he lit them on fire. He would, like, toke them. He'd do yeah. this. He'd go. <laughs> yeah. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen anybody do. And he would get so stoned that he'd be like, Aah! it was the funniest shit ever. I was like, damn, that's a good party trick. Please steal that. That's the first time I've actually done that, but God damn it, man. Um, much appreciated on all that. Um, but yeah, no, we, we make videos. No, we're, we're, we're busy as shit. We're, we're some prolific ass bitches. We always make, we always work. And literally we work full-time job in media, man, I promise. Um, so this is a halfway house in Bangor, Maine. That's what this is. Um, I don't know if you guys were scanning this as I was. Three ninety nine for an old Victorian twelve bed, five bath, fifty seven hundred square feet. And the reason why this thing is going to stay as a halfway house is because of the fire sprinkler system. So it's just going to stay shit like this. And see, there's a fire suppression system that they had to put in to get the the qualification to get all that extra free money from the halfway house. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to run halfway houses. I'm all set. Um, you can meet um, you can meet new friends there though. Yeah, so could you yeah, you could too. You could go. I don't I don't need any new friends. I have all my new friends right here. And they are virtual friends. No. <clears throat> um no. This is there's a lot of people talking about managing halfway houses. Yeah. <clears throat> and running to what they do is they run, you buy the house, you foot the loan, and then you come to a third party company, and then there's these like horizons wellness. Yeah. And then you lease it to them for like X amount of dollars because you you do all the work and then they lease it from you and you make it's an arbitrage you know it's like rental, yeah. rental arbitrage um, pass on all of it is that I'm like all. a TikTok fake business thing? it's it's kind of just like it's like it's just putting I don't I don't want to do I don't want to own a fucking halfway house I don't want yeah. you know because a it's a Victorian house that's being you have people I mean it's fine people going through shit I'm not here to like shit on people going like living in the the need for a halfway house I just don't want to own one uh, and I wish you wouldn't ruin Victorians for it. Um, but it was it was probably a hospital at one point or a city hall or something. It's probably served us like a municipal purpose at one point. So the house is pretty decked out for it. That fire sprinkler, uh, so fire suppression system for a residential application is about two hundred thousand dollars. So it's at a good deal. It's going to make money. Whoever bought this is going to make a ton of money. It's just not the type of business I'd want to do. I don't feel like running fucking uh, rehabs. I did think about it once and I looked into it for like a second. I had a couple of friends who were doing it. It's just my friends who were doing it like the fucking shadiest motherfuckers ever. Like I'm not going to take any advice from them i don't i mean i i know they're gonna make money it's just not the kind of money i want to make that's all um and it, it might be for some it might people some people might like uh have money and want to do good by it but um i think you'd have to be a new take you'd have to have uh work in the field of rehabilitation and i think rehab is cool and fancy los angeles style rehabs are going to come all over the country los angeles has a couple of aspects that are gonna hit the the east coast soon you know what I mean? Like, um, like you know, maximized Airbnbs. We have a auto car, no auto camp. That's the campground with um, really well executed campground with half um, uh, Airstream trailers and nice new facilities. That that's a company that ran the gamut in the West Coast. Now they're coming here and they're going to kill it. But um, I think one of the things that will come is high end rehabs and insurance will put it up because it's kind of just like in the corporate. If you're working in a, here's a little tip, here's a weird tip. If you work for a, a, a publicly traded company and you don't want to quit your job, you tell them you have an alcohol problem and they have to send you to rehab. That's kind of, the, that's kind of like a little unsaid thing. You have to say, I have a drinking yeah. problem. Work is making me drink a lot. And then they have to send you, and they have to give you your job back. You have to, you have to do that. Okay. Just throwing that out there. You heard it here first, folks. Um, yeah, they can't mess with that. Hey, they want to run by all the rules. They want to play all the games. They want to steal all your money for that shit. Guess what? I have a drinking problem now. Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> Uh-oh. I drink too much. And it's because of you. <laughs> and I don't care about railroading my career. I totally know I'm an HR nightmare. Don't care. I'll live with that. Send me to rehab and I'll take three weeks off pay. Thank you. Uh, June Cleavers repress sexuality with the 20. Uh, I like that idea, but we're trying to keep our channel, man. We can't go down that direction. No, nah, we ain't doing friend. that. 
But uh, thank you for the donation, man. Uh, sorry to do that to you. Jeremy Delaney, uh, welcome to Severe Beast joining, okay? Uh, Leroy Rockwell, uh, also joining Severe Beast, the backbone of any scuffed realtor stream. Thank you, guys. Thank you, uh, Lorenzo Roselli with the generous 25 uh, but in all seriousness, Jet, your Insta story post was hilarious. Glad I donated the emo super chat so you could sing that. Uh, but for real, Nick steals the show. <laughs> so question for you, Jet. What area in the U.S. would your dream underground bunker home? Rhode Island, man. Rhode Island uh, missile silo. Nice. I wish it existed. They'll I love be, Rhode Island. They're in Quonset. Dude. They have some. Really? Oh, they'll be around. We'll find okay. one. Okay. All right. Connecticut's got them. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I'm right where I'm supposed to be, man. The Northeast is... I feel like it's God's chosen land. I'm not from here, but I love it here. Uh, the, the middle of the Jets country landed. scares me, dude. The middle of the country is flat and, ugh. Hardwood uh, forest up here. It's yeah. hardwood forest up here. Northeast, man, for sure. That's a nicely built one. Lorenzo, thank you. Uh, one more from, um, let's see. Oh, nope, Uber Pies. Thank you for joining Severe Beast. Uh, 50, 545 Owens Ferry Road, White Oak, Georgia. Really nice piece of property. One thing I just want to point out um, with this house, uh, a very hard thing to do is to set the, the house back far into, this is a 22 acre parcel. I'm not gonna lie, I have a very similar setup to this. I have a long third of, an, uh, third of a mile driveway. The one good thing that the bonehead owner that I bought it from was set the house way back. It's not cheap, it's more of a pain in the ass. You have to bury underground utilities, it's a longer run, the driveway's more expensive. You obviously had to clear this land that obviously cost more money. Maybe it didn't, maybe it did, but it probably did. Um, you know, you have drainage, you got uh, loom, seed, all kinds of stuff. But uh, it's a very good and responsible thing to do. It sets up, it's just good real estate development. That's all, good residential real estate development on a land. If you're building, set that fucking thing way back off the road. Yeah. It's, it's, it's worth every dollar. Um, Ain't no one coming out here. And I can get the shit kicked out of me and get whacked with a Vance and Heinz exhaust pipe and not say a word about it or else I'll, or else I'll kick my lily ass. But you get to have horses and farms. Um, it's, a, it's a log home. I'm not super fond of log homes. My fucking father loves them. Um, he probably is drooling at this house right now. 685, don't know about Georgia. 685 seems, it doesn't seem that bad. And here's how I'll get to that valuation. 22 acres in this area of Georgia, White Oak, Georgia. Don't know where that is. Um, I'll look. Could I'll, you check the yeah, map? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if map, it's yeah. good. The, uh, the log home kit, it's a kit. Most log homes come in like a paint by number. It's got a 360 deck on it. It needs a, it needs a paint job. And for those of you that are um, looking to refinish logs, the product you want to use is called Sickens Seatall. It is, it is wicked expensive. Sickens Seatall. It's uh, really nice. It's not cheap, but uh, it's a product that uh, through trial and error that uh, they use. Uh, I think they're actually might, that was that. I think that might be old information, but st whoever knows what Sick and Cetal is might know what's better. But someone who used to use that knows the score. Um, this was a kit, and it was just put together. Uh, the stone mantle on this thing's nice. That's probably worth a little bit. The deck is really nice. The two car garage. It's set way back off. The I, I like it. Um, you got. It's built in 08, so it's not like an old, you know, it's not old and drafty. Uh, I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a great piece of property. I think uh, between the land, God. Can I see it on the map? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I was just curious where White. Yeah, yeah. White Oak, Georgia. Let's see. Let's go back here. We'll go to. I think uh, it's right there. Oh, right? shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. Balls. Oh, it's south, oh. southern Georgia. Florida Georgia line. Oh, that's real rough. I thought it looked like a North Georgia house. Uh, it would be better if it was north. But really? Yeah. I I either knew it was way north or way south, but I don't know. I just I personally don't like that area. I, let's put it this way: you couldn't stick that house up for any less than they bought it. You couldn't redo that yeah. entire thing for the price that that guy bought it for. Yeah. The person who did that and sold it didn't make a ton of money, and they built they built a good house. They should be proud. Needs a paint job. Needs a, a ceiling job. All right, 249, 249, Palmley. Oh. Um, there's a couple questions about how uh, St Steve Mana asks, how can I send a Japanese house for you guys right next week? Guys, if there is a Realty link, you know, sometimes we do Australian. We haven't had any tonight. Get ready to get yelled at, buddy. That's yeah, all I mean, I'm going to say. Look, it, you can try. If, if it's for sale in Japan, it, it's got to be on a site somewhere. Uh, you, can give it, you can give it a shot, but you might get screamed at. Nick does not like... 
Nick Nick's an American. Me and Purple Brooks are going to war. <laughs> all right. The Australians are smoking the. Um, not going to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh shit. I had it. English is what? I had it. Yeah, I know. What Power the here. Hell? Not going to happen. There we go. There we go, man. I used to do this with Chinese customers at the, at the dealership. Really? Yeah, yeah, all day. I've done this 40 times. I'm not fucking with you. And you say the word, you yeah. like phonetically yep. pronounce it? Yep, I and try. And understand it? And then we laugh. We have funny laughs. Yeah, I'm nice. like this. I'm like, the manager isn't going to go for this. <laughs> I don't have Japanese customers, I have all Chinese customers, but I would do it all the time. I would do that all the fucking time. Steven Mena, thank you for the two. Um, and someone else asked, uh, do you guys take submissions ahead of time or do they fill up quick? Guys, I, I know a lot of you... Uh, <laughs> Dude, I didn't even see you doing that. I didn't even see you no, neko desu. You're good at that. I, I try. I, I mean, I, I speak Spanish, so I, I, I take languages seriously. Can you do one more, please? Sure. Um, <laughs> Watashi no girlfriend. Wakafuto de masu. Watashi o kimushu ni or okuranari. Loud and clear. Yeah, you got you know what I'm saying. Where it goes. Ana li ni morut moduru. All right. There we go. Parmley Durham. Ooh. Oh, baby. Why is this a star? Oh, I think he. Let me pay. Oops. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember why. Okay, do so do. I think he paid like uh, 50 or maybe I was just got bored and I drew a star that time. Damn. I don't remember what that one. Did you know it was going to be this nice? Well, I knew it was going to be special. Damn, you had you must have had like a like a vision. 489, it's contingent. I hope to God you bought this house. It's worth Oh, I don't even have to look at it. It's, yes, it's worth it. Done, moving on. No, I'm kidding. Great. Great house. Mid-century deck home. Probably got a name on it. Please don't touch the wall panning. Rub them, oil them. Do not change them, please. Don't even change the tile. Don't change anything. Just live in this son of a bitch. Wow, great house. Love the open staircase. Love the stonework. The decks. Established landscaping. Get some cleaning up to do over here. Get the shit away from the house. Um, clean your... Look up a uh, house washing solution. Wash the house with that stuff. It's going to brighten it all up and then seal it properly. I have someone who knows what to do with the, the, the product, uh, the cedar siding. Um, a really, really special piece of property that you bought there. Uh, congratulations. You don't need to hear that from me. Wonderful, wonderful piece. Good eye. You, that, the house is going to live pure enjoyment. Probably needs... Uh, does it have a name with it? No. Um, seven days went under contract. Yeah. Good for you. It's on the road. Nice house, man. 489. You're not going to find a, a, a new house that lives as good as this 60s masterpiece here. Um, I hope you hit my shop up. I, I have a, I, check out my house, 106 Cole Avenue, uh, the, the Edmondson house on Instagram. I did that. It's just a mid-century house, but it's, I think it was a decent shot at, um, I think we did a decent, decent enough job at converting without going too like, atomic or corny. I don't like when it gets like real atomic-y, 1960s Austin Power shit. It starts to get a little goofy, so try to stay away from that. Uh, I think Los Angeles folks did a little bit better of a job at making those blend. So um, I hope your uh, your project is wonderful. The house is absolutely fantastic. I'm I'm jealous. Watashi wa no sono ka no tame ni inu o faku shimasu. Faku o faku shimasu. Eight 
<laughs> God damn it. I'll do it. Nah, I'd rather do Mandarin. It's just as funny. <laughs> yeah, I got you. No, great. Honestly, man. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. I, I, yeah, congratulations again, man. <clears throat> Holy shit, Honeybrook. Ding dang. 85 grand double wide. Again, I ain't going to shit on a double wide. I'm not here to shit on a dude buying a double wide. It's just not my style. I'm, and honestly, I've, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I wouldn't even bat a lash at looking at one. I'd go. I'd, I'd fuck. I fuck with a with a tiny with a double Y. I've Is been, it just um, a good deal? I've been watching videos mm -hmm. of people refinish double wides to make them like. I, you know nicer. what? I want to see. Let's see modern um, renovation for a double wide. I'll bet you some people are fucking cool, man. They do yeah. good shit. Uh. Okay, so like this kind of shit, like yeah. skinning them. Um. They have like decent layouts on them, you know, building, yeah, okay. All right, that's what you do. That's how you do a double wide, all right, you do it like that. And you can still live I'm good for, yeah. if, you're, if you're not a billionaire, you know? This isn't fucking eating caviar. This is just making fun of guys that drive Jaguars and are trying to make money on everybody that are at a bar saying they have a million dollar house and it's worth 600 grand. That's what this is really for. Propane, nice new and tidy, 85 grand. What's your HOA fee? It's price cuts four grand. I just want to know what they bought it for. I want to try to, 460 a month? Holy shit, bro. 460 a month HOA fee is no joke. That's half the mortgage. Wait, what? Where the... 921 is your mortgage. Okay. 460 is your HOA. Yeah. Help, walk me through that. Unpack that. It better be fucking pools. What kind of facilities do you have for 460 a month? Is there a sniper range? Yeah, right. Exactly. Is there a helicopter? Yeah. Is community there community helicopter? Yeah. Is there horses to ride? Is there a yeah, community helicopter to ride? Community plane? Don't make me fucking start asking for dog dicks in Japanese because I will. Yeah, where's the trailer park amenities? Amenities. <laughs> amenities. I'm spelling it wrong. Oh, well. Amenities. Didn't get it. <clears throat> no, that's uh, the, the HOA fee scares me off a little bit, man. Want to know what that's for? Could be pools and facilities. You could have like a dry cleaning server. I don't know. Tell, tell me. Is there a doorman? Like what? Because uh, it looks like you're paying for some luxury shit. This is what happens. Um, I've looked into buying, I know this is crazy, I've looked into buying trailer parks. It is a thing. It could be one of these trailer parks that, like there's a girl on TikTok that buys trailer parks. They turn a profit. It is a real thing. There was one for sale right down the street from me for a million dollars for years. I know they wanted to get rid of it. It was like 100 units. 100 units times two makes $20,000. million dollars, 6000 on the rent, blah, blah, blah. You got to maintain the facilities, pay taxes, et cetera. So some of these new young guns are coming in and then jacking up HOA fees. This looks like a renovated trailer park with a new nice and pricey, spicy HOA fee on the new model. So I would take the 460 and pound it up their ass and you're not going to be able to get around it. So I don't like that. It looks like a gouge. I mean, it is cleaner and it's going to have nice amenities and they're going to make it good, but they're, they're, they're profiteers, man. So I don't know how good it could possibly be. I'm just being straight. That's what it is. Look up um, trailer park fucking investment on, um, on TikTok and there's a girl that uh, basically opens the book on it and tells you exactly what she's doing and she's making bank but i think she's making bank on your back so just giving you a heads up ping i too hey man thank you for joining tonight thank you everyone that joined tonight steven mena with the generous 50 man Hell thanks for whoa. the support hey man he steven says mena. i sent you a yakuza mansion via dm on instagram mm. arigato arigato hey the dogs faku matusu yeah appreciate it um Man. Nice mid-century ranch here. Where are we? Dallas, Texas. I was about to say, is this Austin? Yeah. So it's like the new, like, kind of clean Austin houses. Yeah, Dallas is a good market, man. I think Dallas is about to run and gun. They did a good job on this flip. They did a very good job on this flip. Needs a rug. Needs more. These are rugs. Backyard. I like the house though. I like the backyard. I like the. I like. Did they do the windows? Nice job. 
Nice job on the uh, the windows. I wonder if they trim those out. I don't like the black with the white, but I like a. It looks good. I mean, if you want a good version of a of an of a, a Texas ranch, they need to redo this wood right here. That's not not good enough. Painted CDX is not good enough. More. It should have been cedar. Should have been one by six cedar planks. And they didn't do the uh, countertop or any of the kitchen. They just painted them. Whatever. Not a big deal. Is this for sale? It's pending. It's a nice house. Um, it lives well. Needs a garage door. I might look. You might want to look into opening up this right here and then doing a larger garage. The garage looks like it fits a <coughs> Mini Cooper only. Um, but overall, they did a good job on. The, I don't think it was a flip. I just think it was like a a flip while you live in it. Love it while you live in it. Flip, which is what I do. But they didn't do the. Who cares? It's a galley kitchen. It's not an expensive kitchen to do. It's Twelve thousand bucks to redo that kitchen. Fourteen thousand bucks. Do it yourself. It's not a lot. It's not big. Not a big deal. Um, patio outside in the back. I would do just a little, slightly larger patio. You could just resurface it easy. You could probably just honestly call me if you bought this house. Nice new, brand new mechanical. It looks like they didn't. They didn't. That's a nice unit. I don't know what it is, but I can tell it's nice. I've just been around long enough. Looks like a carrier or something. Um, nice little fire pit, little tree swing. I like it. I don't think they're gouging. Let's see what they bought it for. Let's see how bad they are gouging. Two forty. 240 and then they spent all that money on you know, making whatever. Um, yeah, I don't think they're being that crazy. Here. Uh, we'll see. All right, last house of the night. We got Bren Gun. Sounds like a severe beast to me, man. Thank you for joining. Uh, Flarney Flaherty. Hey, welcome back, man. And thank you for the uh, 25 Canadian. Yo, Nick, how bad of an investment is a Porsche 964? I love the retro look, but would probably shoot myself over the maintenance costs. Uh, missed my chance in 08 when they were 20k. Love the stream, blokes. Keep the heat on. Purple bricks. It's purple bricks. Um, I don't like them anymore, man. Yeah. They're nice. They're cool, but they're so hard to buy. What are they going for now? This one ends in 15 hours, 30,000 for a little shit, a shit box. That's a beat. This one's going for pretty short money. This one's not, 92,000 for a mint matching numbers one. Um, 74, 86, 132. Looks like the unmolested versions are going for six figures. And then it looks like the uh, the beat dry. I just don't like it. Yeah. Honestly, man, those they're hot, they, they're, they're all right. You ain't gonna track it. Just buy something new. You can just buy like a get a get like a a 2014, a 2014 911. I don't know. That's a soft spot. Those those have touched down. Or a 2012, 12. Those are in a soft spot right now. You can get something like that. Yo, Garrett. Thanks, man. I could have bought a black edition for 29 grand. It was a cabriolet with 59,000 miles on it. It was a black edition 2012 that was driven hard and put away wet. It had a, uh, a gummy, something was wrong with the clutch. It just didn't, something was fucked with it. It just was popping, popping out of gears. It was mm. beat. The wheels were beat. It was daily driven. It had coffee stains all over. It was bl triple black though. I could have bought it for 29 grand. I should have, I could have bought it two years ago. I, I got caught drifting it in my, uh, my employee parking lot. Really? I got yelled at by the uh, the general, the, the, like the regional manager. He's like, yeah. dude, we have you on camera. I'm literally on camera like, what? <laughs> like fucking slamming this thing through a, like a up top parking lot. Um, so those are a little bit better. But I'm not paying uh, $50,000 for some old fucking tennis player's car. How much is a new 2012? 20, or, uh, or new one? How much is a 2012 911 going for? Probably, you'll to probably that. find a decent one for in the 30s. Really? Yeah. 30s, 40s, maybe. Okay. I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Paying a lot extra for like the yeah, the it, and yeah, yeah. It's too much nostalgia. I don't think it wears off. I had an '82. I had an '82 911 that I bought for a dime, and I sold it for sixteen or something, or seventeen grand. And I drove it one time, and I felt like a fucking loser in it. I had like this exact car. It wasn't. An, it wasn't. It was. 
it was just a shit box too. It wasn't a nice one. And I drove it one time and I bought it for a short money at, a, at an estate sale. And uh, I fixed it all up and I put the f f fake Fuchs wheels on it. And it was just, it was hot. It was wicked slow. My like, I think I had like a rental Sentra and it would smoke it. It kind of sucks. I'm just over it. I'm over all of it. And honestly, I'll be straight with you. The old body Porsches are starting to get a little like, that ain't the go. The goal right now is the GT cars. The GT4, the fancy GTS, the new stuff is what's on. The old stuff, those guys show up, they're like hated at the Porsche dealership. They're not like well received, just throwing that out there. My old boss was a GM of a Porsche dealership in Florida, and he said all these fucking 80s Porsches guys used to come in, the frog Porsches would come in, and they'd like want to use our facilities, and they'd be trying to do this, that, and the other thing. Really annoying. So, uh, two more here. Bennett right. K says, hey Nick, been very into lighting recently. Do you know any lamp dealers that specialize in unique or antique Bauhaus lamps? No, but you can find them on First Dibs and Cherish if you want the names and the, the hunting points. You can probably find them. Start on First Dibs, type in your keywords, and then work backwards from there. I don't know any lamp dealers that do that. I mean, not, 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 too, many, not too many people. And if you're, if you're going to a specialized guy, you're going to pay through the fucking teeth. So in order to find a mistake, start on First Dibs, work your keyword search backwards, then go to Cherish, and then take your keywords over to Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist or auctions or something like that. Maybe live auctioneers might be a way to specify and key in on some of those pieces you're looking for. And lastly, Ray Demasiao, man. Thank you again for the 550. Ray Demoiseau. That is Ray Demoiseau there. He's out there in Canada with the Maple Tree Farm and the Jean-Claude Van Damme, who's 100% from Canada. Ray is always here. Every Ray stream. Demoiseau and Nick Rochefort from Chamonix. And our boy Rocky so Stream. Boku no chimpo wa oki desune. All right. Yeah, I'm not as good at it as you are. Yeah. Rocky, thank Boku you, Boku no chimpo wa oki desune. I wonder what he means. Desune. It's <laughs> probably uh, something fucking insane. <laughs> uh, Rocky's a good one. Nah, he's a guy. He wouldn't send me down the road. This is an underground bunker in Las Vegas. Oh, I this think is, we've this done a good this one to end it on. This is a good one. This is, the, is this the house they filmed um, Blast from the Past in with Brendan Fraser? That poor bastard, they did him in good. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, this is a full underground house built in Las Vegas for $5.9 million. Everything's underground, it's a bomb shelter. Whoa. I've seen this before. Full on. Still just living life, ground level? Wow, that's so nuts. <clears throat> so paint to the sky and everything. Steel beams. Damn. Oh, that's crazy. Big sub, subgrade. Nuts, man. Absolutely crazy. I dig it, though. If you want to live underground for that. That's scared, man. Jeez. Pool. That's 5.9 million. Let's get into the business of it. Who bought it last? Someone just kept it as is. 18 million. It sold in 14 for 1.1 million. It sold for 60,000. It sold for 2 million in 05. Okay, so the, the ground floor bought it for 600,000. Now they want 5.9 million. Yeah, right. You get you get 2 million for it. People are crazy, man. I love these things. You can't put a price on nuclear safety, Nick. Sure I can. 2 million. Sure I can. I'll give you 2 million bucks for it. I don't even want it, but someone would. Stripper pole. But Nick, the chai comps. Right. <laughs> well, just get a Wilson. Wilson's a lot cheaper. This is like a swingers lounge. Yeah. yeah this place looks like a, like a swingers bar. It's like a... This, what was the guy, uh, Dennis, from that ranch? The bunny ranch? Hmm. Like a bunny ranch, the show that was on Showtime, it was like a whorehouse. Oh. And the guy who owned it probably owned this house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how you finish like pig. How you finish your survival bunker is like how you are willing to live the rest of your life. Yeah. Consider like if 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 you bought this with the intention of surviving nuclear Armageddon, it's it's kind of implied that you're never coming out. Yeah, disco and you have a disco stripper disco ball. Disco stripper ball in the wilderness. Wilderness scene. Really great. Rest of my life. Just that's my deal. You, Starla, and Stacy and Crazy and all the uh, underground living meth addicts, you can, you can 
<laughs> you can climb the trees and peel the paint off the walls for hours and hours on end. But I'm not letting you make $4.9 million on me, you sucker. Never going to happen. Not paying for it. Don't care how cool of a story is or how the modern world changed and this stuff become a value due to Airbnb and the internet. You're not making $4 million on me. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Those are all the houses. Great stream. Great yeah. stuff. I like the houses. So fun tonight. There's mm. a lot of fun A lot of fun houses. Yes. Yes. Arigato bakayaro, kobe to tachi no ishi no ni naiwan. O nonde koretara, koretara inoni. So, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate all that. Um, yeah, we'll be here Tuesday. Buy a house this weekend. Let me know. Get kicking. Get tires. We gotta Scuff. remind them. We gotta remind them. We got Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock, no, 7 o'clock. Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Sammy, Monday. Wednesday. Friday. Friday. And me, Sunday. And Jet, Sunday. Guys, the the Scuffed Realtor merch is finally here. People have been it's begging. Here. People yeah. were clawing. At yeah, me. they got it. They were hitting me up. I got it. It's here. Pre-order's here. Again, do your orders by the set. Keep them separate, please, because I'd rather, if you, if you like something, you saw it, please put two orders or whatever. Please, that's the only thing. I don't want a logistical nightmare for anybody. I want it to be smooth. We, are, we do what we say we're going to do. Stuff ships efficiently. We have a full team working full time. Um, we will get stuff out to you. We have a lot of cool things in the pipeline. Lots of cool things um, oh, yeah. coming out. We got, we got a lot. We are building sets. Our hands are worked to the bone. I'm building a restaurant as we speak. It is nuts. Um... It's nuts, man. I'm building sets. Jets running around like a madman. We are. Uh, you guys won tonight. Great job. Really great. They killed it. Great job. All the houses were fun. Chat was good. What do you think, babe? She's got leprosy. She's a good person. She's got a good heart. So, uh, yeah. Single run. We're going to do limited run on this stuff. Anytime we have an artist uh, doing anything with us, uh, we're going to make it just single run just to keep it fun. And. Uh, yeah, Miles McGrady, thank you for making a great, cool thing, uh, cool dude, painting, just being being a, an artistic fellow. Um, again, I hope uh, you guys enjoy it. We will tear apart these houses for you. We will shield you from potential financial ruin, I hope. This is not financial advice, but I hope that we can save someone from any bad ideas. That's my dream. Um, kick some tires. I know I'll be out there. Um, thank you. And I will see you Tuesday. Goodbye, guys. 30, 40, 30, 50, 30, 40, 30.